welcome to the podcast this week. This is Four Player Podcast, episode 453. My name is Nick Henderson. I'm joined today by Brad Simons. Hello. Nolan Hedstrom. What's up? And Christopher Guthridge. Hey. All right, now you can shoot the shit. What are we talking about? Okay, we were talking about the <laughs> Star, Star Fox. Fox animated short that I watched oh, today. Oh, God. It's, oh. It's, just, it's just an animated version of, like, a mission from Star Fox. Like, that's all it is. Like, they get... Like Cornelius. That sounds attack. that sounds like the worst waste of time. There, there's literally a part where they're like flying mm. across the water, shooting enemies, and then they get to the city and they're like switching to all terrain mode, and then they're flying in circles, shooting things. There was <laughs> there, <laughs> really yes. <laughs> and then and then and then there's a part where they're like, all right, launch your bombs, and they shoot their bombs, and they zoom in on one of the bombs, and it literally looks like the. The bomb the pickup. pickup. It has yeah. a big B on it. <laughs> no, I, it well, when I said furry porn, I didn't mean like <laughs> furry, actual furry porn, of which there's a lot. I meant to say like... The character designs look like furry characters. Well, I, I, like when you say like food porn or something, like Star Fox. Oh. I'm saying like the furry... It's, like, it's a, it appeals dude, to furries. I was, I'm just I saying, was, the year so far has had Zootopia and a new Star Fox game we yeah. actually got. It's a good year for furries. It's That's all I'm saying. <laughs> They needed at least one, I guess. Oh, well, and also with stories. Stories? Yes, yeah, stories, yeah. Wrath of That's Lich a King, great, what's it called? Wait, Wrath of Destiny. Wrath <laughs> of Destiny. Lich King, yeah. What's are up? We, are we talking about stories, or are we doing the four-player minute? No, <laughs> we, 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 that was just, that was just, I was just saying stories. more furry stuff. We are going to talk about stories tonight. Yes. I, oh. Brad, I have a quick question for you. How Fuck. how <laughs> how much porn are we going to talk about tonight? No, no porn. You've talked about porn a lot today. we got more, all the porn talk out. Mm, yeah. Did we though? Yeah. Prince died. Yeah. I what? Butt plugs with tails attached? Is that a that real exists. thing? Yeah, you that never, exists. How have you not seen those, Brad? With all In the fact, fucking, do you like ever Google. go on the internet? I with told all the you. shit you do. In what fact, does that even mean? How much butt stuff can you see without seeing In fact, furry oh, tails? When I say okay, let me be clear. It's, okay, when I say butt stuff, I just mean like butts. nice butt cheeks and stuff, <laughs> not like. Stuff, stuff going in, not like stuff going like, into the butt. I by just the way, stay away from that butt stuff. plugs either usually have a tail or a jewel at the end. <laughs> Sometimes a toothbrush. I've seen the ones with like a <laughs> toothbrush. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, like like a toothbrush <laughs> like, sticking out? No, oh, yeah, 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 sticking out of the so butt. Like, yeah. So like the, the butt is like brushing somebody else's teeth. No, so, so when teeth? the when the girl's twerking, you can like brush, brush your teeth. Her teeth? Yeah. I just like nice butt cheeks. <laughs> You like when they're nice and plump. You are Brad. such a poser, Brad. All right, let's. <laughs> let's. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I don't. <laughs> we're moving on. We're moving on. Four we're, player minute. We're bl- <laughs> <laughs> Let's <laughs> let's start the show off. Four player minute. Hype, sweat, thank you, and fuck you, Brad. Let's go. Mine's a little different. I have no fuck you. I have a wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> god damn it, Brad! Uh, oh, is this porn? My hype is I don't talk about it as much as, say, Nolan or as a lot of other Sony fanboys. Out. Not not say Sony's a fan. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm hyped for Uncharted 4. Oh, shit. I'm hyped for Uncharted 4. Um, I know I haven't been talking about it all fucking year like every other Sony fanboy out there, but I do really love those Uncharted games. And uh, Uncharted 2 is one of my favorite games of last generation. And I can't wait for 4. I was watching Nolan just play a little bit of 1, and I was like, man. Right? Uh, fucking Drake. Right? He's cool. Dude, like last night I was like, I was playing stories and I was like, I kind of want to play some Uncharted. I've been meaning to play and I, p- I picked it up. And I'm like, God damn, even though this game has really shitty stuff to it, like it's not a great game. It's a fucking great game. Dude, yeah. I, so I popped into your broadcast last night where you were playing Uncharted 1 and I was like, dude, these character models look ugly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah dude, like, I'm so used did, to them When looking, did that come out? Yeah, 2006. So used to like them six. looking like pristine, and then all of a sudden I was like, holy crap. I can't wait, especially with the big open areas and the vehicles and Whatever. stuff. It's mm-hmm. going to be cool. Uh, my sweat is for a game that, I mean, I guess Gameplay should have sent it to me today, but hopefully they'll send it tomorrow. Um, I, I, am, I should hopefully be getting in a copy of Star Fox, but I'm a little iffy based on some of the reviews it's been getting. It hasn't been great. Mm-hmm. Um, the other thing is... I don't think I'll be able to play Star Fox Guard because I think you can only play that if you have if you purchase the game. Mm. And and unfortunately, I heard that that might actually be better than Star Fox proper. Really, the little kind of mini game yeah, thing yeah, yeah, yeah. That they did. <laughs> um, my thank you goes to Vunik. He uh, he purchased me a copy of Banner Saga Two, which is very nice because I probably would not have been playing that game anytime soon. Um, I fixed my brakes the other day. Do you know I you, used to service? It yourself? No, no, no. I didn't do it. I used to service where they come to your house. Really? Yeah. yeah. That doesn't. They suck. just show up. It's called like breaks to go or something. It was pretty nifty. 
It's called breaking and entering. Yeah. <laughs> um, Dude, like, I, I, kind of slightly off topic. I was watching uh, The Danish Girl the other yeah. day. Uh, pretty good movie. Uh, and at one point, like, there's this, like, Asian lady on a bicycle that comes by and rings a bell. And, like, he just, like, threw his laundry into her cart. And I was like, is that really how that happened? You, they just came by and took your laundry yeah. and did it? How do they know whose is whose? It's just like a fucking cart full of, like, dirty clothes. They don't care. Why did it have to be an Asian lady? That's so racist. I don't know. Maybe that's... Isn't, isn't that, that like isn't a, that her fault though, for getting mm, into the business? Ooh, <laughs> for getting with, into the business. I don't know about that, Crispy. <laughs> um, this is a dangerous. In, in my show, wait guys. and see, I'm sorry. My wait and see. Maybe this could I be. I didn't think about that. Maybe one. this could be another sweat. Is uh, and we're not going to talk about it in the news, so I'm going to mention it here. Is that um, uh, John Romero and Adrian Carmack the the lesser Carmack to some people, uh, who is part of uh, you know the original. Uh, id software you know worked on doom uh they're going to be doing uh or they're they're announcing something soon they've made an announcement of an announcement i'm sure it's related to some sort of spiritual successor to doom or some shit probably um and i think we're going to be hearing about it at the end of the month it's probably going to be like a kickstarter or some shit Mm -hmm. but i mean i'm cautiously optimistic i mean there's a lot of history with john romero and Kind of talking the talk and maybe not being able to walk the walk when mm-hmm. when when John Carmack's not around. So we'll see. But Adrian Carmack's on board, um, and I like the original Doom a lot. And Quake's cool, so we'll see. But um, so I'm cautiously optimistic. Maybe I'm not even that optimistic, but we'll see. That's all. You cool. Done? Thank you, Brad. No. No. Cool. Uh, all right. Uh, my four player minutes starts now. Uh, my hype is for Hitman episode two. Yep. That's kind uh, of. What's the subtitle? S- Blood Money. S- no. S- 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 Someone in chat will post it. Sicily. Sinatra. And it is in Italy. Someone in chat will post it. It is in Italy. <laughs> Uh, any, uh, s- 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 hold on, hold on. Zero. No, 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 no. no. Hold on, hold me. on. Sh- shut up. No, no, no dead air time. Um, um, um. It keeps sa- saying um. It sa- keeps it going. I'm trying to fucking read it. Um, <laughs> sap- 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 Sapienza. I can't believe no one's posted it Sapienza. Chat yet. Well, there's a delay. Sapienza. It's, yeah, it's Sapienza. Uh, I'm excited for it. They, they, they released a new uh, trailer today. Uh, it looks really good. Like it's a very different. It's like a like a coastal city yeah. in Italy. Like it's very different from like what we've seen in Hitman before. So I'm excited for like the potential. Like you know, just, I don't know. Maybe you can dress up as like a lifeguard and drown someone. You know what I'm saying? Like if they're drowning, you That's go out. That's ironic. <laughs> you go out to rescue them, and you just shove their head underwater. That'd be cool. If or, that's in the game, know, someone owes me money. You dress up as a lifeguard and you don't save him. He just drowns. That's that's him. what I'm saying. Like, oh yeah, I'm, you just he, sit you on swim the tower out. While you he's just like, well, no, you like swim out there and you're like, I got him, and then you just swim next to him and you're like, fuck you. <laughs> or you just, just sit on the tower and not do anything. Oh yeah, I mean, but then drown. you didn't really assassinate anybody. <laughs> That's not the best expert hit, assassin. You, you let him death through inaction. But if you the... don't dress up as the lifeguard, the lifeguard saves him. Oh well, yeah, I mean, aren't I you guess technically that's... killing him if you decide? Isn't inaction in all right? That's a debate we're not having on the podcast. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, so uh, my sweat uh, goes to my new PC that I bought. Uh, I returned it. <laughs> uh, uh, why, wait, why'd you do that? Too good. Well, no, uh, because. I, I think the, the, the thing was kind of misleading. Like, I couldn't find any information about the motherboard. And it turns out it was not a great motherboard. Uh, I had, like, one PCI s- slot on it. Something. And, yeah, That's and, why it was so cheap. Uh, I mean, that's one <laughs> of the reasons. And the thing was, like, I ended up doing some calculations. Wait, did you actually get it and then return it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. They were they were cool with it. They were like, we have 30 days, blah, blah, blah. And I let them know. I'm like, look, it was kind of misleading. Like, blah, blah. But anyway, like, uh, I ended up doing calculations. And I'm like, I could pay maybe like $200 more and get a far superior computer, better RAM, better, a better CPU, uh, same graphics card, but better mother, better, better motherboard, better case, you know, whatever. And so I ended up returning it because even though that tin, like that 980 Ti, I can't talk today. That 980 Ti sitting right in front of me was so fucking tempting. And I'm like, oh my you God. You should have just, you could have just bought a 980. Uh, you should have just ripped out the 980 <laughs> you Ti just and sent it, it back. It, going, you I'm sure that's how You could have bought a 980 works. and There's put no it in your existing machine now. In this. No, uh, I don't know if it's compatible. I'm pretty compatible. sure you said it like compatible. <laughs> it might be. I'm not sure if a 980 Ti is compatible. It might, I don't, I don't know. know. But, the there was a point TI-82 is, in there instead of a graphics card. I don't understand. I'm sending this I d- back. I do have a TI-82. <laughs> Who doesn't? I have a TI-83. You motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this guy. I have a TI-81. 
Have you ever seen a TI-81? They look like a fucking toaster compared to a TI-82. I, w- I would imagine. Um, my, my fuck you uh, goes to the new PS4. Which we will talk about. We will. <laughs> I, I don't want to say I'm tempted to buy one. We don't know. We don't. I mean, uh, it, it, it's, it's. I think good. we're all going to be tempted. Oh yeah, we're going to hate ourselves. For exactly. It. No, that's the thing. Is like I hate the fact that I saw. I'm like, oh, it has better this, better this, better this, and I'm like, should I upgrade? Oh, and I'm like, oh my we god. We don't talk about. It. Yeah, we'll we'll talk about it later. Get ready. That's gonna be the second half of the show. Yeah, yeah. We'll talk about that. Um, for show. And then uh, my other uh, uh, hype. Uh, why didn't I write it down? Just name the game that's no, coming out. No, no. There's like I, so many games I, No, coming. I literally had something else I wanted to say, and I was like, oh, I'll remember. You know one of those things where you're like, I'll remember, don't worry. And then you never do. And then you don't. And it's you like, remember saying I'll remember, but not what it was. You're hyped for remember. the new Doom. No, it's You're going to play that. lots of Doom multiplayer. I mean, I guess another fuck you could Doom, go to Doom, myself. Doom, Doom. Uh, for forgetting. No, uh, for playing 50 hours of Stardew Valley. Uh, hey, I looked at the play clock the other day on that because the, the main thing that and one of the reasons I ended up playing Uncharted last night was because I had been wanting to go through the Nathan Drake collection before 4 comes out see I want to do that the, too but the I, Nathan Drake collection is like 50 hours I could have already gone through that entire collection oh but God. instead I played Good. a, yeah. a year of Stardew Valley really disappointed is all why? In me? Yes. You haven't even played Stardew as Valley a, so you don't even person. fucking know you don't fucking know <laughs> Crispy you don't even fucking know and the thing is, there are other chatters who have played way more than that. Like, there's chatters who played, like, over 100 hours of Stardew Valley. Well, you have to if you well, plan to get yeah. far in the game. Yeah. Time-wise. I mean, anyway. it's all relative. Chris Davis has played 148 hours of The Division, so... Yeah. All right, well, that's my four-player minute. Okay. So, my turn. Yes. My four-player minute, as always, is brought to you by No Man's Sky. Coming out this June. Can't fucking wait. My hype, though, this week is going to be... For and I've talked about this a little bit. I think I don't know if I've done it as a hype yet, but Overwatch, yeah, coming up yep. next month. Really, next month? Yeah, it's about a month away. I well, maybe less at this point. I'm not sure. Um, I'm 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 really excited. I mean, the whole Blizzard Blizzard take on Team Fortress Two, but with like MOBA style hero characters, looks mm-hmm. really cool. They keep putting out new videos of it. Um, they've been doing a closed beta right now, and all the stories and details coming out from that beta, which I wish I was in, um, have been really encouraging. And I can't wait for the final game to ship next month. Hmm. My sweat isn't really a sweat. It's kind of like a sweat hype. It's like a it's like a hype with it's baggage. It's 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 a hype with baggage, and that's going to be for Captain America. Uh, the Civil War. Mm. I'm I'm actually I, I'm not like really sweating it. Um, I'm excited I'm really, to see it. I'm really really excited. The only reason why I'm sweating it is because, uh, like, because Batman Superman has like cored me out, my inside <laughs> like has just scooped out my soul. So it's gotten um, worse over so time I don't, since you saw it, dude. Yeah, I just keep thinking about how much I don't like that movie. <laughs> Have you seen it? I, again? I'm a different person now that I've seen that movie, and I Wait, don't did you like see it what a second I've become. Time or? No, I don't. Okay, neither have I. I thought about it. That's one sign right there. I thought about it. I I might just wait until I can obtain it completely legally and watch it that way. Like, the thing that sucks Um, is I live right next to a dollar theater, and I'm always like, oh, I'll go see it when it comes to the dollar theater. But it always comes to the dollar theater, like, the day it comes out in, in, like, DVD. And I'm like, well, I'm just going to fucking rent from Redbox then. Yep. It's like the same. The dollar theater isn't a dollar. It's like $4 or something. Fucking like $3. Fucking lies. Sure, sure, sure. But it's... So my only concern is, like, if Captain America was also disappointing, like, I would have nothing. Yeah. I would I would have nothing. But it's not going to be. It already looks great. Like, all the clips they've been putting out look awesome. Can't fucking wait. I hear Spider-Man's pretty cool. Spider-Man, man, can't fucking wait. And I, I, I'm surprised we are, we're already getting deets on the new Spider-Man movie. Yeah, yeah. Homecoming. Well, they're, they're moving pretty quick on Man, that. and so talk I, about distancing yourself from the like the branding for the original Spider-Man trilogy. Yeah. Sorry, Brad, I did lie. It's not $4. It's $2.25. My, uh, my fuck you for this week is a little bit of an umbrella fuck you because it covers multiple, multiple facets. Dollars. But uh, my fuck you this week goes to the Estes Flask. Yeah. From Dark Souls Three, and there's a couple reasons why. The first <laughs> reason, the first reason is because uh, the Estes Flask edition of the <laughs> strategy guide that <laughs> came out. I came so fucking close to dropping 130 bucks on that, and then I finally saw like the video that Jim Sterling put up of of what the of what the Estes Flask that it comes with looks like. It's it is 
fucking garbage. Oh my god! It reminds the, the first thing I thought of was if if you've ever been to like a museum, like an aquarium or like a science museum or something. A lot of times they have these machines where you can put like two dollars and quarters in, yeah. and then it has like a mold injection thing where it makes like a little plastic mold of a dinosaur or something like that. And you yeah. can take home as a souvenir. That's what this thing looks like. It is trash. It's a uh, lump of green trash that they package in with the strategy guide. That's it, a damn it, shame. It, it is, oh, it's it embarrassing. Is, I'm a it is picture. nothing. It is nothing like even like even the marketing material for the guide was like That's this the isn't. Worst. It's not a real flask. You can't drink from it. And a lot of people were like, oh well, fuck that. I'm still gonna get it anyway. It looks cool. It doesn't even this look it. cool. It doesn't even look cool. It's fucking garbage. Uh, and my the other fuck. Oh. My other my other Estus <laughs> flask fuck you mm-hmm. goes to the in-game version of the Estus flask specifically when it comes to co-op, okay? So if you've been playing Dark Souls 3, you're familiar with the fact that you have certain Estus charges that you have to allocate between your health flask and your magic flask, right? I'm a caster, so that means I actually have to consider that. Most people have just been putting all their charges into health, but I've been using a lot of magic, so I have to kind of split mine up. Yeah. What I've normally been doing, I'm still pretty early in the game, I only have six charges, so what I've been doing is five in health, one in magic. So I have one magic refill, okay? But if you're, if you're co-oping, like I've been co-oping to do... To do that is fucking terrible. Why is it even Look green? Look at that thing! Oh, it's so gross. I uh, get it away. Get it out of here. Anyway, it looks kind of like a butt plug. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, you could totally <laughs> shove that up your ass. Anyway, when you plug. when you co-op in Dark Souls, they take they hamstring you a little bit. They take away some of your Estus charges. Yeah. Okay. But the way the system is set up is that it takes them from the two different flasks separately. So I have six charges overall. The game, when I co-op into somebody else's game, takes away three charges. But if they're split up, it'll take them away separately. So it'll take two charges away from my health flask, and then one charge away from my magic flask. So that, or, I'm sorry, it takes three charges away from... No, no, no. Yeah, it takes three charges away from health, and then another, you know, one to three from magic. So I'm left with two health flasks, and that's it. No magic, just two recharges on my health flask. But I can move that that magic charge over to my health flask, and it'll only take away three, so I'll have three health charges. Yeah. Basically, there's absolutely no way for me to bring magic into another person's world unless I put like all of my charges into magic. And then you have so no I have to completely I have to completely just forget about my magic flask and put all of my charges into health. That means I have to go back to the fucking blacksmith and like reallocate every single time I want to. I want to switch between doing. Why do you solo and PvP? Why do you have to go to the blacksmith to do that? Why can't you know. just do that at a bonfire? I, I thought you could do it at a bonfire, like, but it, it turns out you can't. Guys, guys, it's we're absurd. not talking about dark I don't know. souls yet. I don't know. It's fucking. It's fucking dumb. I don't. So I don't much. like how that system's set up because, you know, for the few people out there who actually want to do magic like me, which I know magic's a big scrub move. Fuck you. <laughs> I I don't like. It, it it just makes it more difficult. It makes it... It's like rewarding people for doing the sword and board thing all over again. And, yeah. and that's fine, but, like, come on. Let me branch out a little bit. And uh, my thank you for this week is actually going to go to everybody who shows up on Sunday night to watch me continue Castlevania Symphony of the Night in my new block, which is no longer going to be called Kicking It with Crispy from what? now on. For a while, for the foreseeable future, my block will now be called... Metroidvania City, because I will only be playing Metroidvanias. There you nice. go. There's a lot of good ones out there. Me and Brad Cast- touched Castlevania City. And Brad didn't like it. Shut up, Nolan! They don't have to know! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, is it my turn? Yep. All right. My four-player minute is brought to you by Jason Bourne. Oh, of course. Which I'm very fucking <laughs> the excited The man or the for. movie? The man. Both. The movie. Yeah. Uh, the my hype this week goes to Jason. <laughs> the box office disappointment. <laughs> I'm so f- fucking excited for that movie. You have Nick. You still got like two months. Three months. Three actually. months. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if anybody wants to get together for a Jason Bourne movie night, I've I've watched them all three of them in the past three months, but I'll gladly do it again. Anyways, uh, my 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 sweat this week goes to the last third of Dark Souls, which I have officially entered in. To I think. Um, nice. I'm at a I am at a boss that I hear is quite What's difficult. The boss? What's the boss? Uh, the two, the fucker. What are they? Uh, oh, or, the fucker. Yeah. Be the first try. Ornstein and. Oh. Uh, but so I have a question for you guys. Is Just this cheating? Cheat. Yes. 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 <laughs> if you don't solo him, it's cheating. Wait, you have. You I were... didn't solo him. 
So you fucking... you uh, okay, no, no. Here's Wait, my question. Solo? Here's my here's my oh, question. Oh, I did. That was back. I, when... I did it on the feed. I did it live. I've, I've gotten to a point where I, I, I'm if I do it feed. if I do it long enough, I'll beat him. Like I've gotten to a point where I've already eliminated one of them. The second one gets stronger when I beat him, right? Yep. And I've gotten the second one about a third of the way through his health Wait, Ornstein by myself. Mm-hmm. Wait, yeah. who are you beating first though? Because that I've, I've tried both ways. Okay, that's what she said. This is the right way and the wrong way to do this. <laughs> Here's my this is so I don't play PC games very often, but I figured this is like the one thing I could probably take advantage of that I am playing it on PC mm-hmm. um, because. Because you, you can you can summon a, 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 a NPC to play yep. with you, mm-hmm. uh, but of course you have to have humanity, and I'm not really in a position where I have a lot of humanity. Yeah. So I had to go back and farm a bunch of humanity, which mm. I went all the way back to the depths and I farmed a bunch of humanity. But then I was like, what if I don't beat it in the next like ten tries? Then I'm out of humanity again, and I have to go all the way back. So I'm 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 archiving my save state, and then if I run out of humanity, I'm just gonna replace my 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 save file. And just keep doing that until I fucking. Is that cheating? <laughs> which one's Ornstein and which one's Smog? Ornstein, Ornstein is the knight, the, Smog the is the dragon hunter with yeah. the spear, and Smog's the executioner, the big fat guy. With the I was calling him Schmaug. because they, they sell Shmaug. they sell Shmaug. the shop sells Smog's armor in Dark Souls Three. This is a uh, and it's really good. But Dude, I, I saw somebody I don't with don't Ornstein's armor it's the, called the other meaning day. of Dark Souls. Apparently, Ornstein's armor. Oh yeah, and I think his spear is in the game I, too. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah, yeah Smog's hammer is too. Anyway, that's, that's one of my but it's one of my so favorite dumb. Dark Souls gifts. Is it just a guy going into the Ornstein and Smo fight naked, and he bends over backwards, oh, and he does like, the bow pose, and and then Ornstein and just comes up and spear. shoves the spear up his butt. It's funny. Emily sent me a, a gift today, and it was it was like it was like new like new Dark Souls players every time they they watch or every time so like a like a, a hard like a core Dark Souls player mm-hmm. like plays in front of them whatever, and it's like shows someone on one of those like. Shows where they're about to run like an obstacle course, right? And he's like getting all jazzed, and then all of a sudden, this naked guy just comes running out of nowhere and like masters the oh, course in like two uh, seconds, and then starts yeah. dancing. And, it's, and that was like, the American Ninja Warrior. Yeah, oh, yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> but it was like it's like when new players watch like master Dark right. Souls players play. It was just yeah. yeah, pretty damn good. Um, <laughs> of course, he's naked. Yeah, yeah. of course, of course. Um, my fuck you the week goes to Brad for moving the podcast. I was going to talk about Ratchet and Clank, but I haven't started it yet. No. Nick, we'll talk about Ratchet and Clank and maybe decide whether it really mattered if you played it or not. Well, I'm going to play it regardless. <laughs> um, and uh, my thank you on a more serious note, my thank you of the week goes to uh, kind words from followers and whatnot. My dad's been in the hospital. It's been kind of a rough week, and I had a lot of people wishing me, um, sending good thoughts. So thank you to all those people on Twitter. That was really kind of you. And uh, Things are looking... Things are good. Okay. Things are quite good. It's good to hear. Mm-hmm. Is he more man than the machine now? The, Wait, he's, other way around. Think, yeah. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say is no. No. I just remember like I just remember talking to my grandfather. He he passed away last year and I remember talking to him and he's like, Wait, Man, was this I'm, the was this the one who was like mowing his lawn, like lift bench like Yeah, the one that would go to the gym at, at at ninety two. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Uh he, he he was he was always talking about how he was like half machine, he had had multiple bypasses and he had a defibrillator and a pacemaker and like all these he's like, They put so many machines in me. <laughs> Man, my dad was about to have a bypass. Yeah. And then another doctor came in because they were going to originally put a stent in my dad's heart. Yeah. And th- but they were like, it's in a really tricky spot. So we might have to do a bypass. And then a specialist came in who does nothing but stents. And mm-hmm. he was like, it's in a tricky spot, but I can do it. Nice. So no bypass. Nice. And did it. Bust it out. Yeah. Did you give Bust him a tip? Out. Yeah. Huge, <laughs> Is that how that works? Huge tip. <laughs> they finished the surgery. Oh my God. I didn't have any cash on the brakes guy that came to do the brakes oh. on my car. I didn't have any cash, and I was like, well, maybe there'll be a line for a tip. And I just signed his, his little thing, his, and there wasn't iPad or whatever, and there was nothing for a tip, and I felt bad. Did you give him, like, some mints or something? I, you what do you the, do in that situation? Well, you take like, him out, you is, take him, you take like him to the back room. He just works for himself? <laughs> like, does he get all the money anyway? Uh, no, it's a service. Uh, yeah, you should, should, have, should have tipped those guys. Anyways, <laughs> we've got lots of video games to talk about tonight. Uh, we're gonna talk about more about Dark Souls, but first, I, uh, Nolan, did you uh, what's up? Did you talk about stories last week at all? Uh, yeah, yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Dude. Well, I didn't get to hear. it. Let's hear about it. Sure. You've been playing um, more stories. Yeah, what? stories. Path of Destinies. The Path of Destinies. Um, so yeah, stories. <clears throat> Nick, if you don't know, well, you know a little bit. I mean, I you played, played it at Pack South. Pack South. It's one of. The, it's probably my favorite you, you, game. Of you Pac play South. R- Ronaldo. You're a uh, uh, kind of like. Piratey type kind of guy, uh, going around and uh, looking for booty. Kind of, yeah. Uh, the the story in stories 
isn't very straightforward. It's kind of weird what's going on. Like, you don't know exactly. You're kind of like the story's unfolding as you play the game. And so, you know, like, there's this great war between, like, you know, there's these all these ravens who work for the, the under the emperor, and there's some people who are fighting against them. And, and you're trying to, um, to stop this. And, and the way stories work, for those who haven't seen it, is it's all about choices. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you're given a choice, like, look, I can go and rescue my friend, or I can go and try and get this weapon that could potentially, like, win the war. But the weapon is also called, like, the Destroyer of Gods, and I don't know if I should be using that weapon. You know, whatever. So, you know, you choose a path and you go down it, but then as you go down that path, you have more choices you could take. You're like, oh, well, now now that I, I did get that, I didn't get the weapon, I saved my friend, but I can go get a different piece of the weapon, which could be useful, maybe. It won't complete the whole weapon, but it might be useful to have it. So, you know, you're constantly making these choices and, 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 and learning as you go. You're, you're learning the truths, is well, what they are called. What's well, that? What I'm okay. One Nick knows about this stuff, and we heard about this last week. What new developments? Well, not, not I, I have a quick. I want to hear I'm about sure some are, of the stuff. I'm sure there are people who haven't heard. I have it. a quick I'm question. Sure Given a brief overview of the game, what's up, Nick? Uh, so I played the packs. I thought it was really cool. Like it's beautiful. Mm-hmm. I like the the way it feels. The combat feels nice and stuff. It's simplistic but satisfying combat. Exactly. Um, I feel like th- th- the title's a little. Bland. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, Path of Destinies. Which is yeah. weird because, like, the game doesn't, like, it's gorgeous. Like, so, it, no, so, yeah, so that, it stands that is, apart. The, the, the title's a little weird, but I understand it's because it's the Path of Destinies. There are multiple destinies. Because the thing is, when you get to at the end of each path, when you make a bunch of choices, something happens, and there's, like, an end. Something happens, and then you go back in time, and you do it again, but this time you do it differently. Like now you go through that again, knowing the truth, a truth, not the, not all of the truths, but you yeah. now know a truth. Like one of the things I learned that my friend who was my friend was maybe not so much my friend. That, that, that's so now, similar to how... So do you play uh, everything twice? No. So that's the thing is you're not always playing the same thing again. So now that you know different things, you'll go down. So think of it like almost like a grid. And there are all these different things that happen. And you'll start somewhere, and you might kind of end up going back. Think of, like, FTL. Think of, like, an FTL map. Yeah. Like, sometimes, even if you go one way, you can still get back to another area you would have gone if you went a different way. It kind of They kind of intertwine and overloop and kind of do some weird things. So, yeah, sometimes you are replaying areas, but... You up you so you start with one sword and then you start unlocking through crafting new swords. Yeah. And those new swords are almost like a Metroidvania esque. They allow you to unlock doors that even if you've been revisiting an area you've been to before, you can now unlock a door. And it's not like it's just like a room with a chest in it. Sometimes it is. But sometimes it actually unlocks another area that takes you down another path that you either learn more about lore. You'll often find these... I found this one fucking scroll that was like this very intense scroll like yelling at me like, find the stone, don't listen to any when you voices. you say scroll, it's, like a, it's like, a, like, a, like a... Like a paper scroll. And it's like narrating it for you. Uh, no, you read the scrolls. Oh. Almost everything else is narrated, but I was reading the scrolls. It was scroll. in caps lock. Yes. No, yeah. There was there was caps locks and like it was like if you find it was it, very intense, then I realized I was yelling. If you know find why. it, put it in a hermetic box immediately. That's all you do. Don't listen to any voices you might be hearing. Just put it in a box and that's it. And if you see someone who has the stone and it's not in a box, get away from them. And like this whole thing, and I'm like, I'm like, what is going on? And like you just you find out these like crazy things and like you like I said, you're learning more about the truths, like things you didn't know before, and like the whole the whole game is narrated. There's constantly this narrator narrating everything that's going on. He's he's telling Lupino's like opinions and like, oh, and and like when I'm smashing random Bastion esque. Yeah, it is Bastion esque when I'm smashing random Does crates. Does narration change based on what you're doing like yes. in the like in the moment? Yes, and based on what you know, he will change what you like it, when you go back in time and now you know different things, he will comment differently. Um, like, like you know, I'm smashing random crates, and he's like, "Oh, he knew that one of these crates must contain something." And there was one time I was like trying to smash a crate, but I was wafting. Like I kept missing it, and then there it is. Like he, uh, Ronaldo just likes the sound of his blades, like slicing the air. Like he just makes these weird comments, like Bastion esque. And what then, about like, the evil stuff? So yeah, and so that's the thing. And I was telling Brad about this a little bit. Last night I went down a path wasn't maybe as nice like chat was like don't go down that path and i was like i'm going down this path and it was kind of like there's this evil thing and it wants you to kill because it wants blood 
And I was like, I'm going to do it. <laughs> and so I just start killing people. Okay. And yeah, and I'm like, okay. And then so like. Easily t- so and, easily corrupted. No yeah, one. no, definitely. Well, that's the thing is like, I know once I get to the end of this path, I'm going to go back in time anyway. So I'm like, hey, let's see what, let's see what lies down this path. Um, and like, I find this like in this, this evil thing is like telling me to do. It's like, yeah, kill, get blood, kill things, kill them. And I'm like, okay. Uh, and then, you know, so I'm, I'm killing all these things. And then like, I come across like one of like, like a, like a person from the past that I know. And he's like, Hey, uh, you cool. And I'm in like, what are you talking about? He's like, I heard you got one kind of evil. It's like, I'm not evil. And he's like, well, just, you know, don't kill me, maybe. And then, like, and I'm like, listen, buddy, I'm not going to kill you. And I start, like, poking him in the chest with my sword. And then he dies. And he just kills him. <laughs> he just he stabs him <laughs> in the chest and he dies. Uh... And I was like, oh, that happened. <laughs> and, like, and it's just, it's, it's, it's very well written. And I won't say that all the writing is amazing. There's definitely a few. Because there's so much of it, it's not all amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, How much of this but, have you played? Uh, I've, I've unlocked three truths. Uh, there are, there are, to my knowledge, at least there are, there are four. I don't know what happens once you unlock the fourth. The thing is, I think there's like 28 paths you can go down. Like there's, there's a lot going on. What's up, Brad? What is it about this game? I played this game myself Mm -hmm. and it was fun, Mm -hmm. but there's something about this game and it might be the title. It might be, it might be like the, the cover artwork or whatever that I saw. Mm -hmm. There's something about this game that makes me think it's like secretly like, a religious game or something. <laughs> like, I think, I think we, like the final truth is going to be like Jesus saved us all. So this is, this, this is an example of a scroll. You're expecting like a VeggieTales. Yeah, kind of right? Why do I get that vibe? Whoa, is that what VeggieTales is? VeggieTales is religious. Yeah. It, yeah. I never knew yeah, that. Are you being tales. serious? I've never watched. Do I Do I no. look like I watch VeggieTales? I don't know, maybe. I don't know. Everybody wants a water buffalo, like, I Nick. I don't know. every day as a kid. I never got anything religious from that. Uh, <laughs> so, so, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I guess that potentially could be the case. I don't know. Uh, I, it's just some about <clears throat> the title and the look. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, it's like Bastion for good Christians. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> like I said, I was, everyone else goes down. Dude, I was killing like everyone. Like there's like there's this one thing where I went to go to the council to convince them to make me emperor, and he and he was like, it, like during the story, it's like narrating. I'm not playing this part, but he's like, Ronaldo decided to kill a few to show he was serious, but then he realized there was no one left to kill. Like he just killed everyone. That sounds religious to me. Oh, That's what happens when you support gay marriage. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So anyway. Do you recommend? I mean, is this? You recommend this? Yeah. Like should all of us play this game? I mean, uh, if if you have the time. Once again, I haven't beaten it. I don't know. Maybe the game goes to shit. I don't know. But from what I've played, I've enjoyed it. Even when I am going through areas I've been to before, like I said, I found that like. So when you're playing an area, that every area is not a linear path. There is a path you can go down, but there are, even when you're going through that area, you will see other places in that area you can't get to. Like, you'll see them. You'll be riding these, like, elevator-type things. Cool. That's and you'll see cool. areas you know you'll get to later if you come back with, like, a different weapon like and then you can unlock a new path. Yeah. And, and so that's one of the things. I feel like even though I have been revisiting areas I've been to before, I feel I still feel like it's okay because even though I'm like, I'm like I've been here before, but then I take, like, ten steps and I walk down a different path that's completely different. Uh, there's some very light puzzle elements. This just game came out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, it did. It did. I uh, had not even heard I, of it. I, until... I, I, the combat, like I said, it's very simple. It's basically one button. Uh, there is a second button. You get a grappling hook, which you can use on people. But for the most part, you're just pressing X a lot. Yeah. Uh, but you can kind of combine that in certain ways. Like the timing affects how you attack. Uh, if you hold X, you will grab people. You can throw them off ledges. As you can see, it's very there's lots of like ledges, and you can throw people off. You can throw people into other people. You, I'm constantly encountering new enemy types. Every time the game restarts, kind of, you can go back in time. They introduce new enemies. So at first it was just ravens, but then they introduced like uh, like these mages who would throw fireballs at you, and then they introduced ravens that have shields and you can't knock their shields away later on i got an ability because there are skill trees in this game uh, i got a skill that let me knock away enemy shields and it makes it a lot easier and then i got introduced to enemies that will buff other enemies that's their whole job is they just make other enemies stronger so you want to go after them first and then i introduced ones that if you hit them it, can, it starts a countdown and they'll blow up soon if you accidentally hit them twice they explode on you does the world uh remain this like because honestly like for you know for a lot of people too probably i'm sure like the appeal of this game from a from a you know an overhead view is let like it is it looks, isometric the whole time i mean it's i mean it, 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 it 
it's gorgeous. Like, like the the world design looks mm -hmm. really appealing to me. Yeah, so does it stay, Like, time. is it? Is there ever any moments where you're like, this is not made? Like, it's not con maintaining that momentum of like. No, so so uh, right now you've just seen like, like running through this cave type area, but there's uh, there's jungle scenes, there's like deserts, like it does change up. There's there's parts where I'm on like these like giant sky ships that are flying through the air, and I'm going mm. between them and stuff. Cool. I think there is a lot of variety, and it it is it is like it, it's it's fun. Now, once again, like it's not it's not open world. Like you're not exp like it is too like. Don't think of it like a Metroidvania where you're going back. You're always going forward, but then you revisit that place you've been to before. You start at the beginning and then go down another path. Yeah. Like as you're progressing through this, you've probably seen it a couple times. Like I'll walk through an area and then a, a like a like a wall like comes up behind me, like a like a shield, like an energy thing. You can't ever go back uh. on on this particular playthrough. Like, and so it's it's kind of like it's linear as you go through it, but then when you come back, you go down different paths. I don't know. I I, I want to play more of it before I give like a final judgment. But definitely everything I've played so far, I've really been enjoying. I think the narrator's great. Uh, I don't know Is if it's... Is it narrated by Kirk Cameron? No. <laughs> that would be uh, a good yeah. giveaway. Uh, yeah. uh, I, I, the, the, the voice acting is really well done for the different characters that you in, you're introduced to. Uh, and so I, I, I've really been liking it. Cool. I, I definitely It's, play it's more. on my list. We, I'd love to get to it this who, year if I can find the time. Who is the studio that did this? Uh, I've heard it's of. indie. I know who it's published by... Uh, but I, I, it's I, no big deal if you don't know. I was just curious if they were. I've been playing a game with. Oh, the... uh, it's Tiny Build, I think. Oh, Tiny. I think it's Tiny Build. The guys, uh, the guys behind the. Uh, tiny. I don't think they were on the Tiny Build. Tiny booth, Brains. Uh, um, huh. They were near it. <laughs> yeah, they were near it, but. Um, we'll find out. Brad, I've I've been playing a game. I played some of a game also where you play as an animal creature in a beautiful, colorful world. Oh yeah, that one game I Dark Souls. <laughs> I wanted to play. Well, let me ask you as we talk about the new Ratchet and Clank. I mean Dark Souls three. I mean Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> what? I got you, Chris Davis. I got you. <laughs> um, uh, I played a little bit of this. Oh no. I pl I pl played uh, a couple a couple few hours. Uh, a couple hours. Oh, Spearhead Games. Yep. I Wait, played. Did tiny, someone did Tiny Build, or is Tiny Build did a new game recently. I don't know. Anyway, anyway, sorry, sorry. Moving on. I did a couple. Uh, I played a couple hours of Ratchet and Clank, mostly, the new mostly because you know it got some pretty solid reviews. Uh, really good reviews. Like honestly, like the reviews for this were super surprising. Yeah. Right? Well, I mean, I mean not, not that I not that I don't have faith it, in Ratchet. But all, and Clank, all, but all the mainline Ratchet and Clank games usually yeah. get good is, reviews. Is the praise from this game that it's like new and inventive, or that it's like a return to form it, for Ratchet and Clank? Okay, well, so the problem is there's been a lot of weird spinoffs and kind of like maybe not full games. You know, there there was all for one. There was that tower defense game. That there was there was. Can like, I tell you something real quick? Just to like preface Quest this. for Booty, which wasn't even a full mm, game. Can I preface this whole conversation yeah. with something? I've never touched a Ratchet and Clank game in my life. Okay, so it's interesting that you're starting with this one. I that, that's that's kind like of why I ago. wanted to start with this one, because this is kind of a reimagination of the first game, in a sense. Yeah. So well, this seemed like a good opportunity to kind of jump in, and not to mention the reviews were really good, so I was like, yeah. this seems like a good place to but, jump but in. But understand, like, the, the first few Ratchet and Clank games, those are like 90-plus games on Metacritic. Yeah. This game got good scores, but, like, when this series was at its best, it got really but good he, scores. Sure, but, like, is that... Are you, who's to say that if this was like if those other Ratchet and Clank games didn't exist and this came out, would this not be getting nineties? No, like I no. feel like part of like part of the the lesser score that you might be seeing might be from the fact that it is familiar. And that's what I want to say is that after playing a couple hours, uh, it's beautiful. I think people had intended to ignore this game. Uh, because I didn't even know they were making this because it's, it ties into the movie because it, it ties into the movie because Insomniac has not worked on a Ratchet and Clank game like I mean they, they, they've they like like the you know the core didn't Insomniac make this like, yeah yeah like but, but Insomniac? Insomniac has opened up a lot of little studio like Insomniac's been making all the Ratchet games yeah but yeah. they've had like their little side studios working on this series and they're making songs the, the spinoffs have not been great good um, job Brad good job I think the last great one was Kraken Time, which I played and I really enjoyed. Um, I'd say maybe this is not quite okay. So, so here, here's my. It's very familiar. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have some of like the kind of cool stuff that you see in some of the Ratchet and Clank games. Like I really liked uh, the Clank stuff in Kraken Time. You know, there was actually a full Ratchet and Clank game that came out 
uh, a couple of years ago I- into the Nexus. Secret that, Agent Clank. No, well that was that was for PSP. <laughs> the, the into the Nexus got got pretty good reviews too. Um, I think one of the reasons that people have not been ignoring this one is because it looks so beautiful. And it, it is and, a really good looking yeah. game. And you know some of the spin off ones. You know, like it's been a long time since Ratchet looked for it, like super. Like polished. pretty, like, modern, and polished. And it polished, reminds yeah. me of Clank. Well, this is like, yeah, okay. and this is the first <laughs> real like entry in the series on PS4. Yeah, yeah. But the thing about this game is, there's like one new weapon, you know. Mm-hmm. Like so, so well, for me, they'll all be new. Oh, exactly. The 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 thing is, this is based on the movie, which is based on the the story of the original game. So it's kind of like this pseudo reimagining. What but, other... but 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 what happened is is the movie had a lot of like the popular weapons from the series. So what happens is the game comes out based on the movie and it's basically just a collection of like the greatest hits from the series because that was what was in the movie. So what, like these there... weapons weren't from the first game. What's was there point? another game that that had a movie based on it that that, that they then went and made Street a game? Street Fighter? No, that's not what I was thinking it's of. Def- Spirits within no, I can't. Street I Fighter God, was one they, of them. They made a movie. They made a Street Fighter fighting game Resident that has the movie characters. Blood Rain. Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Z had no, that. Man, I'm crazy. You, you're so, okay, yeah. this is what I want to get some clar- clarification on yeah. since you've played Classic Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, I haven't. For sure. So, I'm confused. Is this a remake or what? Because it's based on the movie. I'd be explaining. <laughs> I know, but like, it, it, but it, like it's, movie, it's like a greatest hits of Ratchet and Clank. The movie's kind of like a but, remake so it's not of one the to original one. series. It's not even close to one to one. Oh, okay. It's okay. not even close to one to one. So here's the thing that people have been struggling with. Ratchet and Clank has kind of been so samey for so long. Yeah. It's hard to tell what is like actually what the story is. <laughs> no, and not the story. The story is a, the is a retelling. But like the like like if you look at a Ratchet and Clank level. It'd be hard to tell what Ratchet and Clank game it's from. Level does not, design is not the strong suit of this game. These the games cool are, are barely platformers. They're more shooters with crazy weapons. Uh, the closest game you've played to this, Nick, uh, is like Resistance 3 because it has like the crazy weapons. They level up the same. You know, with usage and stuff, but like Ratchet and Clank is a goddamn shooter, like a pretty f- frantic shooter. Um, there's a you know the occasional platforming element, but it's never like challenging stuff, and it's a lot of it's transitional, like swinging from this thing to this thing. Late, did he? Did you start the footage? Like, no, you haven't gotten to the train yet. Into the pretty far into it. Yeah, okay. he, he started like maybe eight minutes. Man, I really want to play. I want a new Resistance game, by the way. Anyways, oh. th- there's there's a there's a couple of new weapons. But so far, like, some of the stuff I've started with is pretty standard fare. Like, it's stuff I've seen before, and it's because that was what was in the movie, because what was in the movie is what was popular from the series. Like, the Groovitron is back, which makes enemies dance. You know? Sounds it, rad to me. It was like the, like, I'm sure that's where they got the idea in, like, Saints Row. For the dubstep, I'm sure, that, the dubstep gun, I'm sure yeah. this is a great starting point if you've never played a Ratchet and Clank game. Good, but that's what but I, I think any of them could have been at any time, you know, in the mainline series. Um, so if you want some, if you if you want to come to this game expecting some innovation as far as the series goes, you're probably not going to find it. In fact, after I beat the first area, there was a pretty rancid like ship sequence, and every Ratchet and Clank game usually has some sort of like uh, some sort of sequence type of sequence you can do. Uh, whether it's Clank or whether it's kind of going from between areas, it's the kind of thing that they change up often from game to game. Uh, it's hard to think of an example. Like Kingdom Hearts kind mm-hmm. of change up, uh, changes up like what a gummy ship thing does from game to game. Yeah. I'd say it's similar in like Ratchet and Clank, but there, I've seen some pretty impressive stuff in some of these games. Like in like in Up Your Arsenal or Going Commando, you had these like spherical worlds. It was like a pregenitor to like Mario Galaxy. That shit was fucking rad. Um, and but no, nothing quite as innovative nothing like quite, that? It, nothing. That's what, oh, sorry. That's what I meant. N- nothing. Nothing kind of has been wowing me yet. How much have you played? Like, like I said, a couple hours. You know, I, I beat the first full area. But every Ratchet and Clank le- world level looks like this. Like these floating platforms in the sky or whatever. Like so many of them are like that. Yeah, I, I, th- I think a lot of the appeal of this game really is though, just like they all do kind of look samey, but goddamn, they look good. Like, they look good, and they're, and they're fun to level up weapons. The thing is, I've been playing on hard because this is what people suggested. Maybe because normal was too easy. They're trying to get some of the younger audience with the movie who go out and see the movie. So I played on hard, but it's like you die really quick. So it's, it's, it's 
maybe too hard just because there's so much going on and you don't have a lot of health, at least early on. Well, you could always get good. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, fucking scrub. I will give everyone <laughs> but, but a dollar. I, if you've never, again. I didn't realize you no, had that never. Was, that was a transition. We're talking about well, that. Well, hold on. <laughs> in an attempt to move on, so uh, Nick, you plan to play as I was under the impression that, that you look had at played. this screw. Look which direction oh, he turns God. it. Oh, he loosens it, and it goes down. Well, <laughs> this is an alien world. You don't know that righty tighty lefty loosey necessarily. I had oh, no, it does. Nick, I had assumed <laughs> you had played some ratchet and clank in the past, so I was actually puzzled by your kind of excitement for this i've never touched but, but knowing that you've never played one of these games i think there'll be some to like here i don't think it's probably the best in the series you could probably play better ones i mean they did have always, the hd collection i was always or you know, or crack in time or something this is one of those games that that's that for whatever reason gets like eternally compared to another game mm -hmm. and well for bad reasons i, I always well, I, I know but like it's 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 so weird how it keeps happening because it was like for whatever reason like Infamous and Prototype always get compared, and for the Ratchet and Clank, yeah. it's Ratchet and Clank versus Jack, Jack and Daxter. Those are very and I, different. They're very, they're very different. different. Very both different. of the, like, in fact, all of those, both of those examples I just mentioned, I think those games are very different. It's, well, they're compared for very superficial reasons. Yes, Nick, I think I always thought you would have played at least Quest for Booty because that's like the subplot yeah. to your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah right? exactly. Quest for Booty. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> don't play Quest for Booty. Play Up Your Arsenal. Play Crack yes, Up Your Arsenal. That's the name of Nick's autobiography. I, I probably, I probably wouldn't Nick play. I probably didn't play that because I. I knew it was a farce. Like it's really just talking about treasure. It's, yeah. make, it's being clever, yeah. but well, no the, real the, booty to find here. If no you know what I mean. Booty. It's all fairy booty. I don't discriminate. <laughs> hey, crispy. Whoa, really? Whoa. <laughs> Nick's a fairy. Closet fairy. Crispy. Shame him. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you said shave him. Shave, shave him. He is furry. No. No, 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 no. He could stay. All right. Uh, so. What? Yeah. What? What's up? What's up? I know you've been moving. I've been moving. But How I'm much moved. Dark Souls three have you played, Crispy? Um. So last night I beat the I beat the. Uh, let's 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 the also be curse. Fucking tree. Curse tree. Curse tree. Okay. Curse tree. Which, but, that, but that's an optional boss, so it's let's hard to be, tell how Let's far be you. a little vague. Oh, that is an optional? Okay. I guess Because I am really, People really in love with Dark Souls now, so, okay. you know. Well, so I'm going to say this as we get into the footage. There is a part where I go to the bonfire trying to find an area to teleport to because I realize the area I'm in might be kind of spoilery. Uh, when I pull up the bonfire, don't. if you're worried about spoilers, don't look at the, the names of the areas. That's all. I'll avert say. your eyes. Oh. Avert, avert your eyes. That's oh, the God. only warning. Now, Other than that, there's no real smoke. Now I want to read the names oh. of the areas. Oh, wait, is this pretty? Is this already into the footage? Okay, I don't think we have to. I don't think we have to worry about that. I think this is past that part. He goes back to. Yes, yeah, five seconds in. By the way, I love Dark Souls. Did I ever mention that? No. Maybe, maybe that was from an early recording. I think we're safe here. Did y'all know I, I haven't touched here. Quantum Break since that sec the second? That's broadcast. weird. Because I, well, I I played I mean, the first chapter of Quantum Break. I mean, it's not it's not that I don't want to play Quantum Break. It's literally because my the last week and a half of my life has been uh, absolutely insane. Uh, I haven't played much many games at all. Period. But what I have been playing when I do have the small oh, amounts of time has been Dark Souls. So that that makes a lot of sense. Um, I'm gonna say this. I think some of the. <laughs> Some of the stuff that's in this game that can be considered a spoiler is kind of like cheesy. Like, like, like I, I feel like knowing that stuff is in this game is not a huge deal. Um, but then again, so because it's not like Dark Souls is really that old or mm -hmm. Demon Souls is really that old. But obviously there's a lot of nods to those previous games or some returning bosses. It doesn't take you place might in even, the same universe? Yeah, you might even go to an area. Returning bosses? You yeah. might even go... But, I mean, the whole series has been that like that. That happens in 2 as well. Oh, okay. I didn't you know You might that. even go to an area that you are somewhat familiar with or something. But that's all I'll say. Um, but that's the nature of what people... Oh, my God. You end up going to yarn them, don't you? That, okay. Not, nothing from Bloodborne. That would be good. <laughs> but but um, what I'm saying is um, that's sort of the nature of the spoilers that people don't want to talk about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, why do you think they're cheesy, though? Do you feel like they're, like, overly fan I feel like it's fan service -y, yeah. Well. Hey, there's nothing wrong with a little fan service every now and then. Well, I mean, the, 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 but the thing is, I feel like people have been turning fan, the, the fact that it's fan service into, like, this is how the series always should have been. Really? And they're discounting, like, because this is directly connected to Dark Souls in some ways, maybe, yeah. like Dark Souls 1. 
they're they're kind of using that fan service as a way to kind of put down Dark Souls 2 because Dark Souls 2 wasn't directly connected, so it's like this weird little spin-off thing. Are you wearing and it, and again, that conversation kind of ignores Demon Souls because we all kind of ignore that one. Are you wearing like Black Knight armor from the first game? Silver Knight armor Silver. actually. I'm currently wearing Black Knight. Which is different. Dark Souls wraps? Did I wrap Dark Souls? Dark Souls wrap. You don't remember that? <laughs> Dark Souls rap. I've been playing a lot of Dark Souls. Hey, you don't remember that? <laughs> no. <laughs> you guys, you, you guys remember this, I remember that. right? I, like a couple years ago, we were talking about the first Dark Souls, and really? somebody, somebody like remixed, uh, remixed, uh, like. Can someone tweet that? It at was me, like it was me doing that stupid little beatbox. Uh-huh. Somebody took that and like laid down like a. And then just like cut in like audio of you being like, I've been playing Dark Souls recently, and then Dark Souls rap because you because you were saying like yeah. You should look up my. And then at the, the the end of the track is you about to freestyle a Dark Souls rap, and you get embarrassed. You're like nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Like that's the end of the track. You don't remember this? It's great. I remember it. Great. It's great. I, I think I have it on my phone or something. Why like don't that? you just pull it up and play it? Crispy. No. Uh, we'll do it. Do we'll pretty do it soon the we'll have our own the break. It. Pretty soon we'll have our own it was classic on SoundCloud. album. <laughs> what I'm yeah, trying to say is to me, someone who doesn't really pay attention to the lore, some of the fan servicey stuff can feel kind of cheesy. But for the people who care about maybe how it links to that story, um, maybe they'll care a little bit more. Yeah. You know? Um, it's cool to see some familiar stuff though. So like I mean, someone like me, I did play a shit ton of both uh, a shit ton of one. And then a bunch of two. I mean, I, I yeah. played all of two. Hey, what's and the so, what's the average like completion time on one? I don't know. What like, is, first okay, playthrough. Okay, we were talking yeah. about two. We're yeah. there are too many fucking tangents. I'm here. ready to move on. I agree. I'm ready to. Uh, I mean, hold, I, so, so you think someone like me, I would I would enjoy it. Like I, I would like get the nods and stuff, and that. Might oh, wait, be have you not more. started it yet? No, oh. no one here has except me and Crispy. Yeah. Uh, well, and Wait, really? Nick, I played 50 hours of Stardew Valley. Yeah, about that, Nolan. He had crops to tend. <laughs> Can I say this? Can I say I'm really, really... I'm 40 hours in. I'm tremendously enjoying this game. When I'm at work, it I'm aching because I'm not at home playing Dark Souls. And yeah. I'm, I'm that in. These are very addictive games. I, I love that, all of them. I've beaten I all of them. Too, right? And I will, I will certainly beat this game. So sometimes when I'm critical of a certain aspect of it or I get into an argument about PvP, people mm-hmm. think I'm not enjoying this game. Mm-hmm. But I need you to understand that this is one of my favorite series is. is mm-hmm. And I'm absolutely, ador- I mean, I'm in love with this game. Yeah. Like, like I am every fucking Souls game when I play it. By the way, but, when, when, I, when I try and bring up Dark Souls 1, it's because oh I'm desperate God. to talk about Dark Souls, but I can't talk about Dark I know, Souls 3. I know, but people want to hear about the new one. I well, know. Brad, how are, the, how are the memory leaks in this one? Are they treating you good? <sighs> this, <laughs> you've been cheesing <laughs> all the fucking so... bosses. You've been cheesing all the bosses, it's Brad? It's so hard to play Dark Souls. Are you wearing people. a shirt? It happened, you fucking scrub? It happened today. It happened today. There's this, like, dancer... Of the of the valley or the whatever boreal, the boreal well, valley. Like, do you remember when we, we uh, at E three last year they showed all, that footage of it? Yeah, got I know out. that. Dude, but it, it's that fuck? it's that dancer. Like the 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 animations yeah, are all flowy. The, the scimitars. I beat that thing first try, and it wasn't even close. I had more than half my S's flash left, and like apparently people struggle with that boss. And as soon as I was done, they're like, "Brad's weapons overpowered. Memory leak. What the fuck? This is bullshit." That's playing Dark Souls on the feed. It was comical. You know what's funny? You oh know what's, my God. You know what's fucking funny? If you go into the archive, it saves chat now. So I have fucking proof. We can pull up the archive of me beating this boss, and we Brad, can look at the you, shameful chatters. Brad, you realize people are all just fucking with Wait you. a minute. They know Wait these a minute. people. They, they fought this thing 20 times, and they got they get mad. They get fucking mad. <laughs> it, it, they're, some people are joking. But some people, I think just want to put me down. People are joking. Some people are, just want to put me down. I don't, I don't care what, what I think. Don't, don't let them bring you down, bro. Were those basilisks you were fighting in the clip? Yes. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, man. I hate those things. Wait, are those the things? I'm that, sorry. I, I wait, are yes. those the fucking things that curse you? Yes. yes. Oh fuck those! Curse! It, curse! It's this weird thing of like, <laughs> so Dark Souls fans love Dark Souls one so much yeah. that 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 it, it's like when they see something they've seen before, it's like oh my god, it's back. But when I see it, it's like, well, I've already seen this 
I've already gotten this ring. I've gotten this weapon. I fought this enemy before. It's not as exciting to me. I would rather see new stuff. Which there's plenty of new stuff, but I'm saying I don't get as excited about the old shit. Yeah. Because what's cool about Dark Souls is the new, fresh, and exciting. And sometimes there might be a little Which twist on an old of. enemy. But I, I, the fan service just doesn't work on me as much. Is yeah. that an insect? But it's really good. Yeah, yeah it's cricket. like a cricket. Oh, well, there you go. Jaeger says that they nerfed the uh, dancers. Oh, though. there you go, Brad. That's why it was so that's easy why. for Oh, it's... But <laughs> this, this shit... This shit is real. This shit is real. <laughs> I oh, just love how serious Brad takes it. I love how he gets so, like, oh, he gets so salty. Right, talk about the actual game. But there's about. no salt. I bodied this thing first try. Okay. All right, let's not talk okay. about... Let's not talk about yeah, that. Yeah, because they nerfed it. <laughs> <laughs> like, Dude, like it's, it's easy to like make a parody of it, but it, it really is it really hard is. to play these games on the feed sometimes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like it legit is <laughs> hard sometimes. That's why I do. All right, do well, it. talk about the fucking game. Well, I mean, I have been talking about. Yeah. It. Well, you've been talking about. You've been talking about. About. Well, about well, spoilers, well, you, and you've been talking. Would you about, like me to talk about the one new thing in this game? Yes. The oh, weapon yeah. skills. You're not gonna like. Yeah. Oh, it. this is gonna be a good game. <laughs> so, so I wanted to open with. I'm really enjoying this saltines? game because I I think this new. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> poor me indeed. Um, Brad, we're just fucking with you. I know, but like, I get it when I'm playing the game. I get it when I'm talking about this game. How am I supposed to convey anything related to this game without people fucking with me? <laughs> You're not. <laughs> let's let's talk about weapon skills. I don't, I, I think, it's like the one new thing in this game. You don't like them. It's not that I don't like them, it's that I don't use them. Right. So it's because it, most of them aren't really that all that great. They look cool. I I, I they're agree. tied to a mana bar that doesn't refill on its own, mm -hmm. and, oh, and it's, it, it's, it's, it's kind of like Salt and Sanctuary. And yeah. well, uh, I don't know. I okay. I agree. Well, with I don't you. know either. I haven't played this game, so I agree with you. I, I, I didn't use any sort of magic spells or if anything. Oh, okay. if, I, sure. if I could. Well, you're saying I don't you're think I don't think that they I don't think that they're useless. What, I agree, agree with you, that. but I agree with you that like the 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 barrier to entry to like using them, like the cost to using them, yeah. is a little much, especially for most builds, which a lot of people don't use magic in this game. And if you don't use magic in this game, there's no reason for you to up your intellect. There's no reason for you to carry around Ash and Essence flasks. Yes. So there's no reason for you to use weapon skills. When I say useless, I mean when you can only use like. Like your weapon skill combo four times until your next fucking bonfire. Yeah, that that like it's all encompassingly useless to me. You know it's, what I mean? It what it was what it what it what, the way it looks to me is that From Software was like, okay, we're gonna put this magic bar back in, and we need to justify its presence for players who aren't gonna use magic. Get it? So we'll tie this weapon skills into that magic, but they didn't really think about the fact that like, well. That just made this a magic attack. I'm not specced for magic. There's no reason for me to use this. So, so mm -hmm. I mean, there's ways they could have tweaked it, you know? Because at the end of the day, especially coming off of Bloodborne, where you could do all the kinds of cool weapon shit with your crazy new weapons. That's one of the highlights of Bloodborne. Yeah, the transformations to, and stuff. To have them put so much effort into doing all these cool new stances and moves and animations to these weapons, but then kind of gimp the system mm -hmm. by, by making you, you know, have to manage a meter to be able to use it. Like, it... it like a couple things should have been different. It that it should have used less mana mm -hmm. to do some of these skills, or th some of these skills should have been better. Because the truth is, like after playing this game for forty hours, there's very few weapons that I found and tried where the weapon skill seems so like useful or powerful to where that it's actually worth maybe bringing bringing some extra blue Estus flasks mm -hmm. or to actually put points into increasing the size of that meter. The weapon skills haven't been that fucking good. In fact, like one of the first weapons I got, the Uchi Gatana, I got in like the first hour of the game, that has like a really powerful parry. That and that's like maybe the only weapon skill that that I wish I could do all the time. Yeah. You know? Parry but, with your weapon. Yeah. So but but it's, it's, it's a parry with a really wide window. The most frustrating part is a lot of this stuff, sh it shit looks cool. And it's fun to use. Like, I use a rapier, right? Mm -hmm. The weapon skill, you go into, like, some badass rapier stance that can do all these cool moves. And you feel like fucking Raphael from Soul Calibur. And it's like, this shit is rad. 
and I never do it because I can do it four fucking times in between bonfires. Why? I just wish... Why didn't they just make the weapons more fun and balance around it? Why can't the rapier just have that stance? Yeah. More like the Bloodborne philosophy. Like, hey, this is what this weapon does. The cane can turn into a whip. You know, and we're oh, going to yeah. balance around that. Well, it, it's like, like, like they're saying in chat here. Like, you can still use the weapons art after you deplete your mana. But it's useless. But you're taking a penalty yeah. on it. Look, but wait, what's, it's the, like, what's the penalty, though? Well, it, it's it, like, like it, does it's, dick. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't really do Or it doesn't combo. Damage, but yeah. like, like the daggers. And it's a brilliant idea. The dagger's weapon skill is a dash. Like a Bloodborne-style dash. Not a roll. A dash. Mm -hmm. But w when you run out of... Weapon juice, or you can still do the dash, but it has no iframes anymore. Oh, wow. You know, you're just going to get fucking hit out of it, so it's, it kind of neuters it. Like, like the only use is when you're stuck in the swamps, it helps you get around faster. Yeah. But I just wish they just made the weapons be fun, because at the end of the day, you're just going to be spamming R1, because that's the only thing you can rely on. You know, you can't rely on that weapon skill so, because you're out of the meter or because it's really not that powerful. I can't stress enough that a lot of weapon skills I've tried seem kind of useless in like everyday like 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 it's like spamming R1 a couple of times is more effective and safer and does more damage than that weapon skill. Like that seems crazy to me. Yeah. Yeah. Cuz that doesn't even use my a meter. So just a kind of a generic uh Dark Souls question because <clears throat> you said not a lot of people use magic. I was kind of wondering if that was just me because I like most are like action they RPGs I that I play. Bit. I tip I tend to play more uh, physical attack focus. I don't. I very well, rarely. Magic's I would say harder to use. It's one of those things where you, you kind of have to. Uh, like new players have a much more difficult time with magic. What usually ends up happening is someone new comes in and they just do physical. They always want their shield. They always, you know, yeah. just physical sword because yeah. it's easy. Then they get better and they start using magic. And then they use magic for a while. And then when they get really good, they actually end up going back to to swords, not magic. Yeah. And like Brad was saying, a lot of the times they end up nerfing a lot of the magic spells. Yeah, like my sure yeah, and, and Dark Souls too. Like it, it's also like one of the most like changed systems in the game. Yeah. Like they ch they completely change how it works. Like how like like the under the hood, like the stats of it. Every every system, and there's also you know getting into like the salty souls community aspect of it. There's it's like. In a lot of those games, it's like if you use magic, you're a fucking scrub. Like in Demon Souls, if you use magic, you suck. Jager <laughs> brings up a good point. He says in PvP, weapon skills have more use, obviously, because you're they're not worried quicker, about... They're shorter, like, encounters, you know. They're shorter encounters, yeah. so if your meter runs out, that's fine, because you're not doing a one-hour trick to the next bonfire or yeah. whatever. Um, which, you know, he's right. I don't do a lot of PvP, so I, I don't... I don't get to benefit from the weapon skills, I guess. But if that's like the one big new thing in this game, and to me it kind of feels useless in PvE, that's a little frustrating to me. Because like I said, I can't stress enough, a lot of that stuff is cool. Or at the very least, looks really cool. But it's just not practical. You didn't take the ladder, you rolled past oh. it. <laughs> it looked like I was taking the ladder. It, 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 um, I just wish I had incentive or like just able. Yeah. To, to use it more. So, I mean, that aspect has been a little disappointing for me. I, but you've I, already mentioned overall you really are enjoying the game. I'm like, I, f I fucking adore this game, obviously. I, I adore all these games. I wouldn't... I Except w you don't PvP, so... I don't... No, I... Well, we so don't have to have, have that like conversation. <laughs> I don't really like the PvP in this game. So I'll stick to Street Fighter so if playing, I'm going to one-on-one someone. I've been playing a lot of Dark Souls 1. Unbeknownst to me, apparently the servers were offline for like a whole week. Yeah, I didn't even notice. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I I haven't had a single invasion, like an actual invasion mm -hmm. yet in the game. I thought I was getting invaded once, but I guess that was just the the it game. It was an NPC. It was an NPC yeah. invasion. Um, Those don't count. You know, it sucks though. Is when you're offline, you don't get some of the, the aspect of the online. I do think is really, and I do, by, by the way, I think invasions and the PvP stuff. I think that shit is like innovative and cool as, as hell. Cool and I understand use. why people like it, mm -hmm. but I see it as kind of a nuisance. I see it as wasting my time. I'm more focused on. You're the not fight saying that it shouldn't be in the game. You just yeah. choose not. To like I don't even really like the mechanics of it. They seem kind of janky to me when you're fighting an online person. But. Yeah. But the thing is, I like Oh, do you stains. have to be human to get invaded? Yeah, yes. That's why. I am I'm hollow about okay. 90% of the time. Yeah. Well, so so I, I'm rolling, too, because I like being online, because I like the messages, and I like the blood stains. I think that's another innovative aspect of this series. The thing is, when you're hollow, 
so I like the NPC invaders. Like, like if if you're playing offline and you're a human and you're inbred or whatever uh, in this game, you'll get invaded by NPCs that are unique, they're challenging, and they'll drop unique equipment. Oh, I like but, that. But if you're offline, you're not getting the messages, you're not getting the blood stains. I wish they had a mode. You can be online, but you don't have to interact with human opponents. We'll just have, have NPCs invade you. But you still get the messages, you still get the it blood would, stains. It would be an item, and it would be like a hat that you wear that makes you look like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're joking, but like... I mean, I mean this, he's kind of half serious. I, I, I'm, only, I'm only half joking. When I, <laughs> mention, when I mention it, that's kind of the response I got. Like, well, you know, if you want to be, if you want to get the messages, you got to put hell? up with us trolls. But a dunce cap with pink right. ribbons. Are you in first person? Like, what the hell? I'm shooting, shooting an arrow. arrow. My Have you done arrow. any air bow and arrow yet? Yeah, but I didn't go into first Projectile. person. Projectile. I think you did. Uh, you can zoom in. Yeah. Like, you, 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 oh, you have to have the binoculars, yeah, I think. Yeah, oh. If you equip binoculars, mm -hmm. then when you go on your bow and arrow, it will go into Not the in first game. Yeah, yeah, see, I don't use that very often. I'm yeah, learning new in, things. In, in Dark Souls, that's how it is. Learning Dark Souls new 3 things. Does that, that glitch where you can use the binoculars to like move really quickly? Uh, I don't uh, know. I highly doubt too. that. I highly doubt they would have left that, that in. I think I know what you're talking about, yeah. I don't think they ever really set out to duplicate glitches. Yeah. They were like, "This is cool. We'll keep it." All right. What What other games do we have to talk about, or or is it was that it for the week in terms of? I mean, I have one more game I want to talk about. But we can bring it up after the break, though. <laughs> uh, let's see. What are we doing on time wise? Yes. Let's take a Let's take a break. Uh, when we come back, what's wait? What's the What's the other game? Stardew what's Valley. Stardew Valley. Okay. Well. We'll get a Stardew Valley update from Nolan. Crop reports. Crop reports. <laughs> we'll get a weather report from Nolan. Click the GIF in chat. I want to see the GIF. Uh, we'll do that when we get back. We also have, uh, we're going to talk about that new PS4 rumor coming around, the uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 rumor uh, that's going around as well. So, And, of course, we'll answer patron questions and all that good stuff on the other side of the break. So if you're, if you're watching, don't go anywhere. Cool. Or if you're listening. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm ready. All right, we're back. So I'm playing Stardew Valley and I got no. my guns. Oh. No. <laughs> you can't. Magic like that can't happen. No, I wasn't trying twice. to make magic happen. I was just doing it. With, with the goats? <laughs> Where right. is this going? Wait, have you, have you made a baby yet? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not married yet. Man, Malia just has not even been trying. Really? I have I have a suitor. This is like I have I have uh, Maru. We are talking about Stardew is, Valley is now. Stardew right? Valley like a mirror that you're holding up to your relationship. <laughs> like, well, I want kids. Well, I don't. Uh, want kids. <laughs> if I was a dude, Maru <laughs> would, would also be my preference. Huh? <laughs> Stardew Valley, guys. Anyway, so Stardew Valley. So I'm I'm 50 hours in. Fuck you guys. Uh, Fuck I've, you guys. I've, I've completed year one. I'm about halfway through spring of year two. Uh, I'm in a similar spot. Yeah. Brad's not too far behind me. Um, but yeah, so unfortunately I don't have new footage. I was going to capture it tonight because we upped the po day of the podcast. So We did. Yeah. Remember I said fuck Brad for, for doing that. Yep. Um, so anyway... The footage wouldn't have looked all that different. A, a lot, a lot's changed in the game uh, in the year that I played it. Uh, like Brad Bra kind of mentioned before we were recording, uh, more animals. So I, I have a barn and a coop. In my coop, I have uh, chickens and ducks. Mallards. Yeah, mallards. Uh, I, I I like uh, one of my ducks' names is. Um, um, uh, this is very important. Yeah, no, it is. It's uh, a larange. Larange, Larange. It's a French duck. Yeah, yeah duck Larange. Duck Larange. It's right. a duck with orange. It's a, it's a dish. Uh, we just use the random name. Just well, I, I always name them something. Like one of my chickens' names is Duck. Uh, That's awesome. Uh, my uh, my sheep. His name is Medium Rare. <laughs> <laughs> and he had a baby, and I named it Rare. Lamb chop. Yeah. Well, that would have been good. Yeah. Uh, uh, That's fucked up. Oh, and oh, uh, so. The yeah no so yeah Brad we can you know lots changed like I said I have all these different animals now I have you know goats that you can get milk from I have sheep that you can get wool from uh, I've only had one animal have a baby 
Uh, there's an incubator, so I put a few eggs in there to get more, uh, because animals aren't cheap in this game. Um, but yeah, they're a good source of money, and I got one pig, because a pig is $16,000. What? Jesus yeah. Christ. 16000 How does that stack up to real world pig prices? <laughs> what do you get from the pig? So oh, the he finds truffles. Truffles. And truffles sell for a lot. Oh, it's not because of bacon? No. And then you can, tr you can also turn the truffles into truffle oil, and that sells for even more, or you can use it in some cooking things, and those are very usually... How are truffles made? Truffles aren't made. They're, they're grown. They're fungus. They're, they're mushrooms. So why do you get them from... Pigs, pigs find pigs truffles. Pigs have a, a sense... Pigs don't grow truffles. Pigs, they find them. They're, the, the way they I'm smell... learning new things. They, the, way, the odor that truffles give off is very unique, and pigs, for some reason, are very good at smelling it. Well, you so see, they train pigs to hunt and find truffles. When you buy pigs, they start their own little truffle farm because pigs are the only ones who know how to grow truffles. Yeah. Shut the <laughs> fuck up! It's kind of like an ant farm, it, Chris. <laughs> I hate you. Um, but yeah, and so anyway, truffles grow from. One of the nice you, things also, you're not as much of a crops guy. As, as, like when, when we go is, crops, we go this hard. This is fucking year one. Have you not seen my new one? Oh, okay. I'll be honest. I don't know if I've ever had a was... real truffle. No, this isn't new footage. Dude, you probably... I mean, they're not... They're expensive. They're expensive, man. Well, no, you can go to... If you've ever been to Hop Dotties, you can get... Uh, they sell I've fries that have, oil. that have truffle oil. But yeah. it's truffle oil, though. Anyway, anyway. So, no, Brad, yeah, my first year... Right, this is my first. I think, I think this is. I don't, whenever this. How is. many crops are you growing? Right? Oh no, I, I, I've, seen, I've seen your new one. I've seen your new my one. My new one yeah, yeah, yeah. has, I believe, two hundred and fifty something crops. Yeah. Uh, and I just unlocked the greenhouse. Uh, this, it, now, what does the greenhouse look like? So it's it's a, looks like a greenhouse. It's you see it on the on your farm every day. It's that broken down building oh. that gets turned into the greenhouse. So you're limited as to how many crops you can grow in there. Yes, okay. and there's a there's a finite amount of space. Uh. But the good thing about the greenhouse is it is every season at the same time. So you can plant yeah. any plant in yeah. there any time, and that your won't ancient die. seeds. And yes, so I there? so I saved up a bunch of ancient seeds, and ancient seeds are one of the most valuable fruit in the game. Uh, and I started growing them in there, and they haven't grown very much because it takes like tr something, twenty something yeah. days to grow. Uh, I've also I've been I've been much more organized on my farm. That's something I did was I started an orchard, so I started planting trees in like a row. Uh, I put taps on all of them so I can get maple syrup, I can get oak resin, I can get pine tar. I bet you have graph paper all over the house and at home, and you're like mapping out your farm during the day. Have you and, written like, down anything? Pasting yes. them on the wall. So there's also there's actually a website that's like a Stardew Valley planner Good Lord. that of course will allow there is. you to. It gives you a grid of your farm and allows. That's how you, you to, as a developer, that's how you know you've made it. Schedules yeah. the game. We're more organic farmers, you know. We uh, just kind of well, go I, by the seat of our so pants. So dude, I, I was at the beginning, but then I just kind of wanted <laughs> that to get sound a sound like you at all, man. A co-op or some shit. <laughs> Fucking hipster. No, like like Malia. Next, you're gonna be pushing anti-vax literature on me. <laughs> Malia's like like <laughs> like if you played this by yourself, it'd be like Nolan, wouldn't it? And I'd be like, yeah, probably. See, because Nolan's all about efficiency. We're all about like, eh, what should we do today? I don't know. <laughs> Living with. Well, do we, do we at least feed the animals? And they're like, yeah, okay, okay. Well, do you know you don't have to feed them on uh, festival days? They'll eventually just start <laughs> See, eating that's the each shit. other. <laughs> that I don't care about. I don't know. And I don't. It, I just I realized it while I was playing because I noticed that every festival day when I go in to to feed them, their food is already full. Okay. Because they just don't eat on festival. Did you get days. your galaxy sword yet? Uh, yes, I did get the what? galaxy sword. Well, if you get a prismatic shard, there's... and you take it to the desert, and there's these three pillars, and if you stand in the middle of them... Shut the fuck up. You're talking about a different game, right? No, I'm talking That's about this, this game. game. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I, I keep... There's combat in this game. Dude, you're like... When you go to the desert... Where is it? <laughs> I don't have. I, I wasn't there yet at this point. We've talked about this game for three weeks, and it's just been oh, those crap desert mines are so scary, dude. The, 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 and now you're the talking about galaxy little, swords, like, dragonfly thing, <laughs> the eels. Oh my, is that what they well, are? They drop a, a food called spicy eel, so I assume they're like. Uh, well, the, the like the bats of the desert mines. Yeah, no, they, there's bats in the desert mines. But yeah, they look like dragons. They oh look like God, kind of those things dragons. do a lot of damage. Yeah, they do. How do you, can can is there better armor you no. can get somehow? No, it's just like the plus four defense. Yep, guys, I, w I want you to keep something in mind. Yep. Yeah. If I don't rein in the conversation about Stardew Valley, Fair you enough. could keep going. I have a question. Fair enough. What's up? Chris Are me? there like forbidden or like illegal crops that you can grow, but no. you have to be like really careful, but nope. they can make you a lot of money? Nope. Like nope. You could grow like opium. Nope. I don't know. I mean, you can't. the dark underbelly of, of Stardew Valley pretty much lies entirely around Jojo Mart. <laughs> 
<laughs> Joja Mart. Which, by, by the way, it's like if you pass out at like 2 a.m. and you're not in bed, like Joja Mart like charges you like a thousand gold or some shit. Like, what's up with that? Someone from Joja Mart finds you and they take you to your house and they put you in bed and they charge you money for it. Like a what? lot of money. Yeah. A lot of money. What the fuck is Jojo Mart? It's like there's a big Walmart it's like Valley. a big corporation that's trying to move into this town. Yeah. In the beginning of the game, or early on, you have two options. You can either try and Brad talked about this the first time we played or talked about the game. There's a community center and you can do a bunch of things to revive the community center by like a lot of a lot of various things that involve oh, getting a bunch of each type of crop and donating those or getting a bunch of different animal products, catching a bunch of different fish. And if you're able to complete all these along the way, you will get bonuses like they'll give you a bunch of free seeds they will give you uh a farm equipment for your farm and then when you get to the end of it i don't know something happens but because i haven't finished that yet but if you go with the joja mart route they they tear down the community center and turn it into a warehouse and instead of having to collect all those different elements you just pay for everything straight up cash yeah and so it kind of it's kind of like an option of do I want to spend a lot of time being doing a lot of variety, growing a bunch of different crops, you know, spending a lot of time catching fish, or do I want to just buy the most profitable crop, have my farm be entirely that crop, and make as much money as possible, and then pay for everything with cash? That, that one, seems that second like one, that's right there. What you would do, right? So isn't that the natural? I mean, it's not the cheap. natural. Evolution? Isn't that the natural order of things? It's, isn't it's that not like, cheap either? Isn't that the free market at work? Kind of. But, I mean, it's also... Man, the, yeah. that would be really cool if there wasn't elements of this game, though, where you could, like, grow drugs. I'm gonna say this. But you had to, like, keep it secret, and if you got caught, it was, like, really bad news, but you could make a shit ton of money doing I'm it. I'm gonna say this. That'd That'd be awesome. I think Nick but is, is kind of right about the conversation sur surrounding this game. I don't think we could just... Well, the game itself doesn't really end, I assume. Well, well, no, no, there, no, there's an end. So, so here's my question. Like, how... When JoJo Mart takes over. This game's gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep playing it. Nolan's gonna keep playing it. This will but, like, like, is there gonna be any more conversation we can have about this game that's, like, meaningful? So, I, so once again, I think something's gonna change in the game when, when I complete the community center. Will it be changed? Uh, and then, at the, apparently, there's, at the back side of your farm... You never find it early on. It's behind a bunch of trees yeah. and rocks. You never get there. But then you find it eventually, and it's just a cave. And there's a note that's from, like, your grandfather. And it says, meet me here on, like, the first of spring on your third year. Yeah, he's like, like his ghost comes back or some shit. Oh, really? I something like that. Spoilers. Spoiler. Whatever, you're, like, following a wiki, man. <laughs> no, I'm not. All right. I will reference the wiki from time to time We're going to move on. We will inevitably check back in with Stardew Valley. It will inevitably end up number one at the end of the year on all your top ten videos. I know it. I can I see it coming. So. I don't think it will. I'm going to hold a, you to that. I've put over 40 hours into this game. There's a lot of games I've played this year that I've put over 40 hours into. Yeah. XCOM... Darkest Dungeon, this, Dark Souls already. Salt like, and Sanctuary. Salt and Sanctuary. I mean, it, you've been 40 hours the so witness, far. Yeah. No. By the end of the year, Dark it could Souls be is going to end up being like <laughs> 60, 70, I'm sure. Yeah. All right. But well, anyway, uh, I, like, like I was saying, I think, I think, I don't know if I want to quit necessarily playing Stardew Valley, but it's one of those things where I've gotten to the point in the game where all that's left for me to do. Is to I have one more thing I think I need to complete for the community. You need center. a baby. You need well, a that's wife. I'm saying like I haven't gotten married in the game, but it's not like like oh I want to do that. I, I need to complete the community center and then get to year three. And like at this point now I'm like just like oh trying to make the most efficient farm possible to get the most money to do what. Like I don't know. I'm kind of I've kind of gotten I don't want to mm. say like over the hump of my excitement yeah. for the game. Yeah. But I think that's kind of where I'm at. Now, like I said, I don't know if I'm just gonna straight up put the game down. That sounds like the exact roadblock I hit with games like Diablo and Destiny and The Division. Yeah, right? no, because you can never it's have like, anything in I'm just everything like, in Diablo. I'm just like turning this into better gear and better loot. Like why? Like it's, 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 <laughs> so you can get better loot faster. What, yeah. What right. ends up happening? And then what do I do with that loot? Get more better loot? You lord it over people. What ends up happening is like in in, in this case. <laughs> At the at the <laughs> and the egg festival takes place halfway through the spring. Yeah, it's the only time you can buy strawberry seeds, and yeah. they're one of the most pro profitable fruit. At the end of my first spring, I had like I don't know, like fifty, maybe sixty strawberry seeds. At the end of this like fucking thing, when I went to the festival, I bought four hundred strawberry seeds, and I had plenty of cash to spare. And so it kind of it kind of becomes one of those things where at the end of each thing, you just end up being able to buy more. 
to then sell more, to then buy more. And so, like, I don't really know what I should be doing. Like I said, I would like to see what happens at the end. I don't there know if it's worth it. There is early access. Helpers. So your wife will, if you get married, or you're, sorry, your, your significant other, because you can't get married to a man, uh, your significant other will help you on your farm. They will repair broken fences. They will feed the animals sometimes and do stuff like that. But, no, you otherwise, I mean, like Brad was saying, like one of the most toiling See, things early on is watering your crops because if you don't water them, they won't grow. But I'm at a point where I have a shit ton of sprinklers that just automatically sprinkle uh, that water the crops every morning, so I don't have to do it. Like at the beginning of the game, the first few seasons, like literally the first four hours of your day is watering your crops. Good lord. Uh, and then, well, I mean, time goes really fast. That's, that's, um, that's but then at this point, by real the, time, by like what I do in the morning is I wake up and I go and deal with all my animals, and then maybe I pick some crops that have finished, and then it's only like eight a.m. I still have so much time left in the day, and so it's kind of one of those like, uh, like I, I don't know. Well, that's our Stardew Valley talk for the, the yep. show. Any more games? Nope, I think it does it. We have some news. To, we have some news. We want to. I would like to talk about. Uh, we did mention kind of at the beginning of the show yep. the, uh, the the rumor going around that Sony is about to uh, spring some unpleasant unpleasant is trees it unpleasant? out. Of. I don't know. See, that's the debate. So the rumors going around that Sony is getting is gearing up to launch a PS four point five. The, yeah, uh, we don't really PlayStation 4K. Pretty much, kind of. Uh, it's a the code name Neo. code name Neo. Neo. The and, uh, one. The only the only facts out there right now is the fact that the the, the specs on the better hard drive, better RAM, uh, better one more thing. GPU. GPU. Wait, are these are, are those facts or are those also better part of the rumor too? Like it's better everything. Uh, I, I meant I meant CPU when I, I said hard drive. That's oh. not what I meant. I meant better CPU. Uh, yeah. But it, these aren't confirmed because the machine itself isn't confirmed yet, right? It's it's, it's happening. All, it's Nick. all but confirmed. It's yeah, all I mean, I, I know. I mean, when you have specs out for a thing that's not it's con- but confirmed, yeah, yeah it's <laughs> and so and so it's that, all but confirmed. And, and it's so all well, but some from some here. some of like it's, it's it's insider people who have come out and leaked this information. And it's like uh, you know, some people were talking about uh, the fact that it's developers developing games for this will only it's they're they're not going to be able to develop games just for this. They have to be able. They have to develop games that will work on both consoles, but have the better things can be played on this console itself. There's a lot of uh, specific requirements that make it sound like they're really trying to make sure people don't get feel fucked over. Yeah, but they're still gonna feel fucked over. They, like, like, like for example, one of them is that a game on the PS4K or the PS4 Neo can't have a lesser frame rate than. On the original PS4. Yeah. Which means that developers can't push the graphics for the PS4K version of it so good that it doesn't run as well as it may have on the past. Like, it has yeah. to be the same yeah, frame rate. Point, or like, what exactly the, is the point? Better frame rates, like, better resolution. Mm-hmm. But you just said it can't the, well, be a better they, frame no, rate. They, no, no, no. It can be better. It, it can't be worse. less. Oh. It can't be worse frame they're, rate. They're, they're requiring developers to basically have like two different modes for every game. Exactly. Yeah. One that's like a lower version that can run on the regular PS4 and one that's like takes advantage of the PS4K. But, for like the higher, but all games will be spec. purchasable... You're not right. buying. They're not, they're not gating. They're Correct. not separating their community. They're not. Gating but you're not out. buying either a PS4 version or a PS4K version. You're buying one version that plays on both. Right. Right. Y'all know why this is happening, right? Because of the VR. And I'm not going to point any fingers. <laughs> VR. But it was no. no it's one. it's not. It's happening because of VR. I mean, I mean, that is one of the reasons why I think Sony is is ultimately putting out this console but i'm saying the reason that they knew that this was a good idea is because when the last generation transitioned to this generation Mm -hmm. more so than any generation i've ever seen there was cross-gen titles cross-gen titles lasting years into the into the you know into the release of the ps4 and you had what else did you see more than anything you've ever seen in the world? Remakes. You or saw remasters, remasters. H- yeah. HD versions of games, yeah. and like not even old games, games that had came out like the previous year or the past two years, like Tomb Raider Last and, of Us and, and Last <laughs> of Us remastered and GTA remastered, and these things they sold like crazy. Yeah, they did. 
So what 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 these what these manufacturers are realizing is that people will throw down money for slightly better frame rate, slightly higher resolutions. So why wait? You know five, six, seven, eight years to put out a new console when they can put out one now and people will buy it because they know people are going to throw down money for slightly can, better versions. And then they can still do another one in another three or four years. And they will! <laughs> it's just like a fucking phone. And what's going to happen is, you know, at first it's, everything's going to be kosher, you know. Our Uncharted isn't going to run quite as nice as the new Uncharted. But a couple of years from now, it's going to be like having an old phone. That, that new software is going to come out for it and, and if you have an old phone, eh, sucks to be you. Get a new fucking phone. So M MGS and I and a few other chatters were actually talking about this last night that, you know, people are talking about, uh, I can't remember who was saying it, but they were saying it's, it, it's, go it's looking like it's going to be more like a phone type system where people are going to be buying new consoles every two years. And I was kind of thinking about that. What we're that. actually seeing is a shift in the console cycle yes, as opposed I think so. to... Well, it's, and so I was kind of talking with them and I'm like, well... You this know, is the PS4S. Yeah. You know, yeah, exactly. You know, pe pe people, if you look at a cell phone, cell phones aren't $200. They're like $600. You, you pay $200 because you have a contract or something. And we're like, is AT&T going to start carrying like consoles? And you're gonna Microsoft buy. Microsoft experimented with that. Yeah, you're gonna with buy. The with, with well, also with the Vita also was through like AT and T, but that was because oh, they yeah. had like data. But whatever, uh, you know, are you, is that how you're gonna buy a console? You're gonna be able to pay less money for it, it be getting it through some people with a contract, and so you have to pay some. Maybe maybe instead of paying Sony, you know, you, that that monthly fee you have to pay. Yeah, what if yeah, to what further if PlayStation subscriptions. Plus becomes the exactly? So you have to pay for this, and you have to have that. Uh, and if you do, if you stop paying for it, you know huge penalties. But you get a console for like two hundred dollars, and you know is that going to be a new like or, norm? or have a legit kind of trade in? Yeah, a, a better trade in system. But my question with that would be then, what are they doing with old consoles? It's like just, that's like it's just so fucking stupid because yeah. we don't need this fucking hardware. Yeah. We don't fucking need it, and don't let anybody convince you that we do because games. When a console comes out, they look a little bit better than the last generation. But by the end of that fucking generation, like, like you're shocked that games that came out that first year of that console looked as shitty as they did because developers figure out hardware, yeah. they figure out tricks and how to make games look beautiful, and that's why you can look at Uncharted 1 and go, hey, this game looks like fucking garbage, yet it came out on the same system by the same developer that made The Last of Us. The same fucking hardware. Yeah. Look at The Last of Us, look at Uncharted 1. They're completely fucking different. Look at the PS2, same fucking thing. Look at, you know, God of War 2 versus... Or, or, or look at, like, a late Tekken on PS2 versus Tekken Tag Tournament. Like, it's the same Brad, hardware. Do, do you know what... Now developers don't have to do this. They don't fucking have to. If, if that is the, the course of action, do you know what that makes look really appealing? What? PC, PC gaming. gaming. Of course, because we are... They're making us PC gamers. You're not buying a new console. You're buying a new, new graphics new card. New hardware, yeah, new graphics. You're, just so you can run your games a little bit better. Yeah. And, you know, the cost is probably going to be about appropriate. I mean, about... Uh, 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 comparable. Comparable yeah. to buying a new graphics card. It's just so fucking frustrating because this didn't have to happen. But 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 they saw I mean, that not, we would throw down money for this yet. shit. It hasn't been We confirmed. aren't there yet. We don't know what they're what they're like what exactly they're I mean It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because because let me explain something about cross gen games. Let, let me explain something about cross gen games. Because how many of y'all played Rise of the Tomb Raider on 360? Fucking no one did. Even though the 360 had an install base Jack, that was Jack insane. Did. Well, I did. But I'm saying well, like I, I didn't play the game at all. But I'm saying like 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 when the PS4 comes out yeah. and like Assassin's Creed Black Flag comes out on PS3 and PS4 and you get to the MPDs, the PS4 version is still the best selling version. Why? Because no one wants to play a sli even a slightly inferior version. Correct. Which is why, and here's the other thing that happens: the developers that make these cross gen games. They're not making it first for the old shitty hardware. They're making it for the best hardware. They're giving the old shittier version to to like some other random fucking studio, to, yeah. to Nixus or whatever, because no one wants to develop for crappy hardware because it's easier to develop for nicer hardware. And what's going to happen is it's, they're not going to be elegant downgrades. Let's bring it down a notch, Brad. Let's bring it down It's not going to be elegant downgrades because they're not going to be developed from the ground up from Correct. The, the lesser hardware. That's just not 
how it works. So that's why you can, uh, that's why I say Tomb Raider, the reboot, 2012, I think looks better on 360 than Rise of the Tomb Raider. That's because it was built from the ground up with the 360 console, in mind. Yeah. Well, Rise of the Tomb Raider is a fucking shoehorn into old ass hardware. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's what's going to happen to plain, like regular PS4 games. Like, you don't it, have to upgrade, but if you're exactly. buying games from here on out, you're going to be getting like the inferior. Like blocky N no, no, graphics no. and poor exactly. shading and now, long load times. Nintendo's crazy, so I mean <laughs> they're, they're like a separate yeah. case. Yeah. Meaning, like the new 3DS, they don't even support it, so whatever. But <laughs> but like, there's an example where they decided to port Hyrule Warriors. Th that port was designed for the new 3DS. Still came out on the 3DS. It runs like dog shit. Like on it's the old like 3DS, it's borderline yeah. unplayable on the original 3DS, because they designed it for the new 3DS. Yep. And and this this it might seem okay now. They're telling us it's going to be okay now. But the truth is, when when Last of Us Two comes out, do you think they're going to be designing that game for PS4 regular in mind? Yes. No. Oh, oh. Damn it. No. <laughs> You're going to have some some fucking porthouse work on that version of the game. And it's well. Is it really? The, but I mean, is there really going to be this much of a disparity between? I think so. Possible. The four, I think so. Do you know why? Because nine. because PS4 hardware, the regular edition, is already old as shit. Yeah, you know, you know like, like like my my PC I built in 2010, and it runs Dark Souls three better than a PS4. And that, that, so that's that's yeah. another thing I was going to mention because if you remember, I played Hitman Beta on uh, PC. On the console, on the PC that we built before the PS4 came out, and it runs great. But then when I got the final version, I got on PS4, and it runs like shit. Compared, which game? Comparatively, a Hitman. Oh, okay. The new Hitman. What I'm saying is, Sony's not going to have to spend a lot of money on hardware to build these things to make it profitable. Something that runs a lot better than the regular PS4, oh, yeah. because the PS4's hardware is really old. Yeah. You know, and from what I what I'm understanding about the specs is that the GPU on this PS4 Neo is a lot better than the regular PS4s. This is not even like a. This is even more so than like you know the new 3DS. This is it's a pretty significant difference. You know, mm -hmm. like, like like I think best case scenario, best case scenario, you're gonna see games that run, you know, 30 frames a second on regular PS4 and maybe like you know. 60 I'm sure on. I'm sure most games on the PS4 for whatever this Neo will run at 60 frames a second yeah, yeah. I mean but you know in, in not so good scenario uh, situations you're gonna have something run at, at 30 on PS4 Neo and maybe sub 30 and look shittier on on regular PS4 and you might think that like that that can't happen we'll never buy the crappy version mm. but like look at the three biggest games of last year Bloodborne and Witcher 3 and Fallout 4 and they all ran like shit on consoles sub 30. Yeah. They know we'll buy the crap. But we bought it because we knew that that was the best we can get on consoles. When that new console's out, we can't we're not going to put up with that shittier frame rate, you know? We're going to upgrade. True. I mean, the thing is what they're what they're really expecting us to do is change our expectations for what the console cycle is going yeah. forward. I mean, origi Which, I mean originally honestly, it was ten years. I mean, ten years yes. is the console cycle. That's how long this console is going to last, and it will will support it for this long, and blah blah blah. And while that was the case then, that's not going to be the case. I mean, now. what what your what your what this is essentially is going to become is a, it's just going to be a, sh a shock up front because no one's used to sh console cycles being as short as they are now. Yeah. Um, Eventually, it'll. I mean, it'll probably become the norm four or five years until they get an improved version. I mean, the thing is, when does it go from being PlayStation four point five to being PlayStation five? And that's point? the same thing with like think of like iPhones. Yeah. You know, they they always will release subversions. Is this gonna be the PlayStation four S? Well, they, they, they might name it the PlayStation Four K. If it, I don't, I don't know if it will do. And that's something I don't they know could be about. Used to push kind of Four K well, video, yeah, Four K video, VR stuff like that. I mean, and that's something I brought up before. How many fucking people out there have Four K televisions? Nobody. How many people out there have Four K um, monitors? Also, like I started, I started looking yet. into Four K. Well, I know I started looking into Four K monitors because I was curious because if I were to get that better graphics card, it could potentially output at Four K. But then the problem is. Like all the 4K monitors I was finding, like they run at a much lower uh, a refresh rate. 
Like it's like it's like sixty hertz instead of like one forty four, which is what my current one is. Yeah. I found one that was like uh, I think four K and like but th- but then it has like a bad like a uh, response time and it's like why like, why would i want to buy just something just because it is 4k when i would rather have 1080p and a better refresh rate True. i, I don't know it's, it's now kinda... also you did mention this kind of at the beginning of the of, of your rant there but like vr is playing a huge role oh, no in this. it definitely is yeah because no one i mean it's going to be a, it's it's at the end of the day i feel like it's going to be if you're playing games on console and you want to play you know, if you want to play with their the VR headsets on console, it's going to be more convenient to buy a, a, a console that has all the tech built into it. So all you got to do is plug it in with USB or whatever, you know, the, whatever it is, mm-hmm. um, as opposed to having some kind of dongle or something that's connected to like, a separate thing that, that you connect to to, to use VR. <laughs> exactly. That's a pain. Exactly. Anyways, we'll see how this de- i mean this is still kind of developing i'm sure within the next couple of weeks it could even be e3 e3 i think we yeah might you know more. sony conference at e3 seems like a pretty safe bet for for that kind of announcement yeah um yeah. and we'll all get ps4ks <laughs> oh wouldn't that be great <laughs> oh man man that 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 time when they when, gave out the when, when they gave xbox. out the xboxes yeah. and we, there was like the one conference we weren't in the room for for the first moment when they said they're going to give consoles away i was like oh <gasps> And then I was like, "Wait, we're not even, we're not in the room." <laughs> like I like I had this moment. That's where why like, that one was no! so impossible to get into. Yeah, because not a lot of people. It was went. like the one conference we never got into. Hey, okay. What they didn't tell you was if you would have panned out into the crowd, there was like fifty people. <laughs> okay. I, I mean, it was kind of. I mean, it was a pretty small yeah. conference that year. Um. So, anyways, we'll talk more about that in the future. I'm sure. Uh, other news topics we wanted to cover. I just wanted to bring up this. This is particularly exciting to me. Uh, it looks like. The, the world map for Red Dead Redemption 2 has leaked online. Oh my that gets me God. fucking excited. That's that not called me. Red Dead if, Redemption if, if that's 2. What, no, if I'm that's what sure, they've been working if that's what Rockstar's been working on, I am fucking It seems ready. like the most logical step simply because, um, you know, they've done GTA 5. In fact, they've done, you know, they did GTA 5, they did the, the remaster. Like, Red Dead is, has, is easily their biggest selling franchise outside, outside of, GTA. of GTA. Oh, yeah. Um, and Which, s- really? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You think it beat? Ellie Noir? <laughs> I think it'd be um, Rockstar Table Tennis? Uh, with uh, the Table Tennis action. And that's one of the things is people have always been asking, you know, where's the PS, uh, um, PlayStation, uh, PC release of Red Dead. Yeah. That's one of the things people have always been waiting for. You know, certainly GTA came out on PC. Why yeah. didn't it happen? I don't know. But, like, that's like, a good GTA question. GTA 5 sold crazy on PC. And do you, you, Red Dead would sell like fucking crazy on PC if they released it. I would buy it. Can if we, they released it on PC. Can we take bets on what the subtitle is going to be? Red Dead Revenge? Yeah. Boo. I don't like that. Oh, yeah. No, but that's fine. You go ahead and keep that. Uh, well, Red Dead go Revolver 2. Red Dead Revolver 2. What if they just? What if they go back and make Red Dead Revolver? Red and it's Dead like, Retribution. Like, you, you know that thing where they, they don't remake something, but they go back and call it the name of the original? Yeah. Red with, Dead but it's Revolver? Not, yeah. Red like, Dead what if they Revolution. just make Red Dead Revolver, but it's like Red Dead Revolver Red 2016? Dead Revolution. Red Dead Revolution. No. Revolution. Like it's the industrial Red Dead Revolution. Re- and it's the industrial revolution. Try, it's got to be R. It's got to be Dead RDR. Revengeance. Also, right? Uh, that map. Right? Can you put that map back up? Okay, so, so like, a couple things about this map. Okay, mm-hmm. first of all, this map is not confirmed. This is also speculation, those, but it looks pretty fucking official. Mm-hmm. Are those all supposed to be like rivers? Well, the, well, what what Possibly. happened is for, for multiple places. Has sort of ended up confirming this project. Yes, you know. Is this in the um, Middle and East? if you notice in the bottom left, you can actually see tall trees and um, the, the the prairie. Oh wait! So is, it looks like this is actually just Blackwater, taking place right? the northeast. This is take yeah taking further. place to the northeast of the map in Red Dead. So you'll yeah. get a little bit of the of yeah, the but, old map, but then yeah. the huge yeah. expansion on and that. The best part, the, no the Mexico. Big city from. <laughs> I from Redemption Mexico. is in this too, right? Which one? Blackwater, no. isn't that what it's No, called? because the bottom left is actually the only part that actually seems like it's going to overlap with the Red Dead Red Dead. But Redemption's there was a big map. city on the northeast, um, right? That island off to the off to the right is actually a prison. Alcatraz? I don't think it's Alcatraz. <laughs> um, uh, a lot of water in this one and islands and stuff. Yeah, maybe there'll be boats. Bordeaux. Which is very so. uh, very exciting. Um, maybe they'll be fishing. New Orleans. This the, like this has me a lot of water. This has me so fucking Red excited. Dead ridiculous! I love that. <laughs> the question <laughs> is, what? <laughs> someone remind me when did? Like, mm-hmm. So Rockstar has notoriously never really gone to E3. They don't uh, really make announcements. They're going this year though, I think. Are right? they? 
Because uh, if they are, then we'll find out about this at E3, most certainly. Well, yeah, they usually don't, don't have a big that. E3. Because experience. they, ne- uh, the, they, they, they have, never have booths. Didn't they, have, uh, didn't they show Ellen Noir at something? They showed Ellen Noir at PAX. PAX, okay, that's what it was. They also, the only game I can ever think of that was ever announced at E3 is Agent. <laughs> which we never got. Which is vaporware. Which is vaporware. Yeah. Um, well, maybe they'll be back. Maybe they'll be like, oh, hey, can by we the see way. chat? I want to see chat. Well, you never fucking know. Um, anyways, I think I just wanted to bring it up because Red Dead Redemption is one of my favorite games of all time, and we're getting a sequel because I knew we all that. knew it was inevitable. It's, it's got to happen eventually. It's just it's this is the, like yeah. all I, of a sudden I, re, I replayed Red Dead not too long ago. Man, the game is so good. It's, it's fantastic. It's it, we we're literally going from like zero to hey look a world map like that, yeah. which is crazy. Um, um, and I can't wait to see how up, it Brad? performs on the four K. I mean, I I played through <laughs> Red Dead and I did enjoy it. I'm a little sad it's not a new bully. It's been longer. <sighs> so Bully's really cool. I'll, I'll agree. I just don't think it's prof- as profitable. Uh, of course. Well, I think not, that's that, that's the big issue, is that Bully didn't get as big of a re- reception. I think Bully's a fantastic game. I've played Bully plenty, and I I, I loved it. Uh, but I, I honestly think there's so much more you can do with Red Dead that you know people will enjoy. I don't know. I mean, that's kind also, of also rumors are, are speculating this Red Dead is going to be a prequel to Redemption. So MGS just said, does say Rockstar is confirmed for E3. Oh, well then that makes me very, very, very excited for E3 this year because this, that the only reason they would ever be at E3 is if they have something huge to show. I think maybe the first time we saw Red Dead Redemption was at PAX. Yeah, yeah. I remember. I, I mean, remember, maybe they're announcing Agent. Was it PAX? <laughs> yeah, PAX Prime. Was it Prime? I think it was yeah, Prime. They, yeah, they had they had a they had a booth kind of in the middle of the floor and you you literally wait in line and go into a room and they sh- they did a presentation the same thing with uh, la noir yeah uh, at pax it was like completely nondescript on the outside yeah pretty cool. much so uh i don't know i'm very 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 excited optimistic because you know i think red dead redemption is still one of the best looking fucking games you, out you, there and that game came out on last gen <laughs> hardware do you think they're gonna make a big deal about their online component because I, I mean, feel like I feel like all the crazy online stuff is what that's what's driving the GTA PC version of GTA Five. That's, the, that's what's definitely that's what definitely been driving GTA as, as well as mods, yeah. mods for it as well. And I think the online and Red Dead was was fucking awesome too. It had a the lot of fun. Yeah, dude, you know, uh, doing all the mini games and you know running running the gang hideouts and stuff like that. And, and just like I think that that was some of the some of our favorite multiplayer nights from way back in the day was Red Dead with the community. You know, someone like the death matches and stuff like that that's a lot of fun you know, carrying the gold and whatever those are a lot of fun and i think that's definitely going to play a huge role in the new red dead game definitely i don't know what those roles are going to be but chris yeah. davis says imagine red dead redemption 2 with the dark soul style invasion system for cattle rustlers <laughs> what the fuck what uh, i like cattle the way, rustlers like just the way you think on chris davis farm. sometimes he's gonna pop out of a prairie it's dog a, hole it's a political thriller called red dead redistricting redistricting <laughs> Redistribution. Um, Redistribution. Gerrymandering. Uh, so, uh, other, feel up? free to bring up other news topics. One thing that happened just today was one. Mirror's Edge was delayed. Really? Well, no, I have my don't news say topic. that. I'm going to do my news topic. I have my okay. news topic as well. <laughs> was that your news topic? No. no. Okay. My news topic is oh. terrible news. Oh, um, yeah. Sorry. Okay, the the Brad president Brad. of uh, Platinum Games stepped down. Go ahead, Brad. Step down from what? Oh well, he I from wish his, you would his position <laughs> <laughs> from the box he was standing on, <laughs> and this is like um, the day before Star Fox releases. Yep. Is is uh, Star Fox out in Japan? I think it's out in Japan. Yeah, I think so. F- from what it sounds like, the critical reception hasn't been great. It, I'm guessing it probably didn't sell very well. Dude. I mean, why would it have? That, um, that animated short that we were talking about earlier, the credits for that is is the mission that the short is based on, like from Star Fox Zero. It looks like a GameCube game. Really? It looks really bad. <laughs> is that how it works in Japan? Like a guy steps up to run, run a company and the game's shitty, so he steps down and the next guy steps up? <laughs> and it's just this. No, I mean, <laughs> yes, they rotate. This, this guy has been in, of char- in charge I, I know, of. I, I know he's been in charge of Platinum. Are they online? This is directly over 10 real- years? I think Platinum's yeah, been around like for ten, 10 years now. Like almost. But yeah. are they saying this is directly re- related to Star Fox? 
somehow? No, I don't no, think no, so. No. But I mean, the timing is never a coincidence. And when someone steps down, it's never because of the business is thriving. <laughs> uh, like, like he's the, like this. This company's doing too well. Yeah, like, I like, we need down. to talk about. <laughs> we need to talk about like kind of the reality of this company. Well, I feel means, like they've been I getting think... away with murder for a long time, uh, like coasting on the fact that like they're really talented developers. So even though these games aren't selling well, you have companies like Nintendo who are like, hey. You know, Wonderful 101, Bayonetta 2, Star Fox will work with you. But how many of those games can bomb before, you know, Nintendo goes, okay, we're done with you? I mean, think about games like The Legend of Korra. You know, they've, they've definitely put out some subpar games, like, and the question yeah, is... They're all cash Well, yeah, no. Transformers, and so the, the new Ninja Turtles. The new, who, who was working on those, for one thing? Was well, it... Uh, you it's know. some it's some it's some team within Platinum Games. They they've been working on these games with Activision. These but the, 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 games. the question to that regard is why do they not downsize that team? You know, fo- focus. But that that those are the games that are bringing in money. I no, think. I realize that the, the, because they spend so little time and so little effort and money. on those games that any return is usually a lot of money. Mm. But critically, they don't get good reception, which mm. is never good for a I game. Think, I think you're correct. I think my biggest concern right now. Is related to whether or not this is going to have any that impact on near. That wasn't me. And, and, and that near one near and scalebound. So yeah, scalebound. That was gonna be my other question. All of Platinum's future games coming out that we are. Well, you know, based on what I saw of scalebound, I feel like like that looks like they've already put a lot of money into it. You know what it looks like they put a lot into? Pray to. Mm. Looks like they put a lot of money into that. Fuck. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they, every week, like <laughs> these big publishers cancel games all the time. Yeah, you and know, so, like for all we know. Some something was maybe canceled behind closed doors that we don't know. What if we don't see Scalebound in D three? Wouldn't be the first time Microsoft fucking shut off quietly shut down a project. Yep. So <laughs> we don't. <laughs> Nobody wanted to say it, Crispy. We, we we don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. But when when something like this happens, like Brad was saying, when a company is thriving and the the president steps down, that's never a good thing. Yeah. So. We don't know what's going to happen. We'll have to kind of wait and see. I don't know. Maybe he was the one that... I, I don't know. I'm really worried. There's too much fucking talent Well, here. You, well you, yeah. you know what I think their problem is? I think they're working on too much stuff. Oh, that, no, well, they're trying to pay know, the they're, bills. They're, they're definitely they're definitely spreading the 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 team as thin as possible to get in as many games. Like I, I'm sure that you know the the team sizes are probably much smaller than they used to be because they want everyone to work on as many as possible. Like Brad's saying, paying the bills, getting all of these you know Legend of Korra, these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, getting all these games in and out as quick as they can to get some cash flow in to maybe work on the larger projects that they want to work on. That you know their passion project. This is the game they actually care about. The, Near is a game they care about, so they put a lot of time, a lot of effort into it. But the problem is, that's not going to make them as much money. It's not going to be as uh, the um, the turnaround, the uh, profit is the profit margin yeah. for Near is going to be much lower than it was for something like Korra or uh, Transformers. Known properties, y- yeah, yeah. True, it's scary. I, I ha- <sighs> I'm very very excited for Near and Scalebound. That's so. the thing; those are two. Of my most anticipated games, and they're both coming from Platinum Games. Me so too. to hear that maybe the company's in trouble, that freaks me the fuck out. I'm hoping that this is just sort of a. I'm not trying to be like racist or anything, but like. like oh, that's never a good way to start no, a sentence. It's, it's, <laughs> no, 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 like Japanese business Japanese culture. Japanese business culture. How, yeah. how it works. It's, it's like, very different yeah, from it's American. Like, it's dishonorable to ship a game with crappy scores that doesn't yeah. sell well, so he's gonna like step down or some shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He's like, not gonna like. No. No, that's racist. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to take his insulin? Why would he not take yeah, his I insulin? Did, yeah. I did, what? What are you doing? Taking your guys. <laughs> oh, God. No, my boy. Move on. Move on. Taking insulin is very Holy important shit. for diabetics. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. I knew. I knew. The moment he said, I'm not trying to be racist, <laughs> that conversation was spiraling. Okay. Sorry. I just, I fear for the Sorry. worst, you know? Like, like we've seen... This happened before. We've seen talent. I mean, when Capcom shut down Clover Studios. Oh, yeah. Like, right after Okami shipped. Yep. Like, but we got Okami too. Like, like, but Okami was a, good. Clover Studios, a studio with Shinji Mikami and Hideki Kamiya. They just, they're like, no, Okami didn't sell. <laughs> like, that's insane. Yeah. That's insane. The creator of Devil May Cry and Resident Evil. Yeah. Like, all they care... I'm just worried that that Nintendo 
platinum relationship is done. That would suck. Because I feel like definitely Nintendo suck. was kind of keeping the lights on. Uh, probably, more so than yeah. Activision. Definitely. But even if it is done, that that I mean, that may not have a direct co- impact on Scalebound or Nier. Because neither of those are Nintendo games. So if, that, if any relationship is going to end, I would prefer it be Nintendo versus Microsoft. But what Brad is saying is, is Nintendo was potentially bankrolling Platinum Games. Sure. If Konami still made games, maybe we'd get a Metal Gear Rising 2, but they don't do that anymore, so... Mm-hmm. I think what we're trying to say is everybody should buy Star Fox, even if you really don't want to. But maybe don't do that either. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm going to game fly it. We'll see. I'll play it on the field. Look, I really hope Scalebound's good, but I'm not buying Star Fox. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not buying Star Fox. I'm sorry. I, for, I hear if you have a lot of love for Star Fox and you can put up with the crappy controls, so it's no. like the old ones. So then no. It's like, it's like <laughs> it's the like old like ones. Mills. Why don't you just go play Star Fox 64? Uh, Crispy, what did, what did you have for uh, us? I didn't submit my news topic because... You son of a bitch. Reasons, so we don't have an overlay for it because Chris Davis isn't a mind reader. It would have been spelled wrong as anyway. As he reminds us. Yeah, it would have been. Uh, but I, want to, I wanted to briefly mention the Dark Souls... The board game. Yep. Oh, yeah. So, uh, Steam Forge Games launched which is a Kickstarter a- for an officially licensed Dark Souls board game, which met its goal. They set the goal at uh, fifty thousand pounds, which is about a little over seventy thousand uh, dollars. They hit that goal in three minutes. That's ridiculous. And they're currently up to uh, one million five hundred eighty-four thousand. Holy 238, fuck! Two hundred thirty-eight thousand. What do you even do? And, uh, they they actually released a video that's a like a demo of, of how the game is played. And I was I was I was thinking too, like you know, is this is this gonna be good? Like, is this cool? The demo that they released is a boss fight against the dancer of the Boreal Valley, and it looked pretty cool. It's a really interesting, it's a really interesting take on on distilling. The mechanics of Dark Souls into like a tabletop. It's very combat like, focused. Right? It, it is. It is really combat focused. But there is there are there is a lot of dungeon crawling. It it's meant to be played cooperatively. Yeah. So it's you. Wait, against there's no the PvP. Game. Right, right, right. It's you against the game. Um, and there's uh, there's a really interesting system for how they handle like combat against a boss. So the in the boss fight they show like you go into a room. There's like an actual t- like room board that has all these different nodes on it. So instead of like a traditional grid system, they just have these nodes throughout throughout the room that your characters can move to and stand on. And then there's a there's a uh, uh, a figure for the for the dancer of the mm-hmm. valley. Um, and the way the combat works is. Uh, that specific character has several decks that are which you shuffle and you draw like five cards to build its uh, to build its like AI deck. So that's th- that those five cards are the move set that it uses in the combat. Yeah. And those cards, what you'll do is you'll you'll flip one over and it'll it'll be like uh, the dancer moves forward five spaces, uh, does a like 180 degree slash on its right side. And then, like, turns to face whoever it's aggroing, right? Yeah. Um, so you you execute that action. You go through all five of those cards every turn. It's it's like a turn based thing. So the the boss will move, and then each of the character, like each of the players, will move in turn. And then whoever's the last one to move has aggro. So that's the character that the boss is going to be targeting. Um, you move through that set of of uh, AI cards for the boss, and then once you get to the end of that deck, you flip it over and you run through it in the exact same in the exact same order. So there's still like there's there's that aspect of like learning the boss bosses moves you're like okay i know when it's third move it's going to do an aoe attack that attacks every node around it so i need to back up i can't use my last like my last uh do all these characters have like stamina oh, they have special cards one of them is a memory leak card and you play that <laughs> and you have to remove two of the bosses like most powerful attacks from his hand yeah. that round yeah so he only does like the one slash move yeah. one slash move. and, the, and then they um, also there's the card that if you get it you have to you have to uh, eat a tablespoon of salt yeah <laughs> <laughs> There's, but uh, there, the, the, oh. the other, the other cool thing, the other thing I really liked Maybe a about teaspoon. this, the other, the other thing that kind of like piqued my interest was the way that they handle player health and like movement. So every character will have like twelve spots, like like twelve, twelve. Uh, call them like little dots on their card, right? Yeah. And that represents your character's stamina. You use that stamina to move and attack, and you can move and attack as long as you have stamina to do it. Mm-hmm. But 
as you're using them up, you're blocking out those dots. So whatever you're left with at the end of your turn, like let's say you have 12 and you use 11, you know, you have one left, that's your health. Hmm. So if you take if you take damage on an attack, it can kill you like that. Some so, banner saga shit. So yeah. yeah, yeah. So so you're 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 constantly trying to balance like how much can I move? How many attacks can I get off on the on the boss before I should back up and like save some health? Because if you know that the boss has a has an attack coming up that'll do three damage to you, if you don't leave at least like three of those of those uh, stamina points available, you will die. Yeah, and it, it, like it's really, really cool. It's really interesting. I think it's a really are all the characters are they all cards or are these all characters that are no they're they're figures they're like little even models. the bosses yeah 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 it's 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 like a it's well, like a it's I an eighty imagine, dollar game yeah like, but yeah. I would also imagine for pewters you know mil- over a million it's, dollars it's, so far it's set up very similarly what do the like Estus flask look like the oh god flask. they're all the shitty no, no, things no, that the, they all come with that the Estus yeah there is no <laughs> physical flask oh, yeah. yeah oh my god yeah they 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 knew not to try that no no um but your character does have like Estus so you can like refill well out. I feel like this is a no brainer once this comes it's, out it's we have really to play cool it. it looks like it's set up very similarly to a lot of like uh like the uh like fantasy flight like kind of RPG tabletop games or like like when they do Dungeons and Dragons like box games like this is what it kind of looks like. Mm-hmm. It, it's really interesting. You should check out the the Kickstarter for it. I would like to get a copy for us to play in the future. But yeah, for sure. It'll be a while. Still yeah. looking for that. Show. All right. Well, we need cool. to go ahead and answer a few viewer questions. New community. So Nolan, why don't you take it away? Take it away with what? The community. With the community. The community rap. Why has no one made a rap for the community? Community thing? rap. Community rap. No, Brad, that's not happening. Who made that song? Can we, can I don't we know. Get to make a community It's time rap? for the community, and that means you. So send us your stuff so we How did you say, and that means you and me? You and me. Community, which is you and me. Yeah. We're writing. Yeah. We're writing right now. The writer's room. Y'all are like musicians. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so, all right. So we have one new patron this week. Woo! Yep. Exciting news for everybody, for awesome. all of our uh, other patrons. A new friend to love and, and, and be friends with. Who are uh, my family members? The right metal up? button. Ooh. The metal button. The metal. I think he asked a question this week, too. Uh, maybe. That's the, that's the button that when you take your pants out of the dryer. Button's hot and it burns oh, you. Fuck that ah, right? 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 right not a mic. That's not. Yeah. Ah! Yep. Yep. It's <laughs> he did, dangerous. He did ask a question this week. Uh, and we actually have a new supporter of the month. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> new in um, This was a, a very odd month. Uh, trouble getting a hold of the supporter. Uh, uh, mainly his fault. Uh, slightly my fault for maybe not uh, quickly uh, reaching out to someone else. It's like 85 15. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, I, well, I ended up uh, saying, uh, well, let's just get a new one and reach out to someone else. And like right after I sent that email, the first guy got to me. Of course, because yeah. that's how that always happens. So we're going to we're going to do spe- something special for this month's supporter of the month, which, which, which is Scott Ling. Scott Ling. Scott Ling. Uh, we haven't 100 percent determined the game we're going to play. That is uh, that well, is that chosen? remains to be seen. But he, cho- but he chose. What he, did he chose some games on Xbox, PlayStation, and That's PlayStation. The, what the fuck did you choose, no one? PlayStation Two, original Xbox, and some other game. Yep. That's it. I, I don't. I don't have it memorized. I have it memorized. You want me to say? His three games were Voodoo Vents. There you go. Yeah. Primal, it. and Singularity. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I get a little excited. We still haven't decided which one we're gonna play, which one we're gonna oh, be I've able to play. I've decided which one I'm gonna play. I don't think it's going to be singularity, but we'll see. <laughs> um, so yeah, and so if you if you out there are the one who received an email me from about the other subscriber of the month, we decided that that's just going to be ours for May. For May, yeah, <laughs> makes it easier. Uh, all right, but anyway, uh, now it's time for some questions from our community. Yes, we do. Yeah, our our, our yes. patrons, correct? Patron questions. Um, Patron. I have them right here if you'd like you me to read name, them. You want to read the first one while I'm pulling uh, up the list? Yes. It'll take me like 10 Sean seconds. Sean would like to know, which which video game character do you think you could pull off as a convincing cosplay? Senator mm. Armstrong? <laughs> That's what everyone <laughs> That's always, what everyone always <laughs> tells me that. They're like, cosplay Senator Armstrong. <laughs> oh, my God. I think I'd make a great Bonnie. I'm going to go with a good... I'm I'm, I think I'd make a good dancer of the Boreal Valley or whatever it's called. 
What? You know those, you know those slimes from Dragon Quest? Okay, let's get some serious <laughs> answers here, folks. Convincing cosplay, cosplay. Real legit cosplay. I'm gonna go with. Um, I'm gonna go with. Okay. Uh, hmm. Oh, I got one while he's thinking of his that he didn't have. Uh, Grand Theft Auto V, the the dude that like plans all their heists, like oh. the, like the nerdy like kind of fat uh, like, Chris Davis? paranoid guy. <laughs> what was his name? Chris Davis. Yeah, Chris yeah. Davis. Right? <laughs> I got it. I'm gonna go with Snow. Uh, Snow. Yeah. From Dark Souls. It's From just Dark armor. Souls. Like you don't have to actually look like anybody. <laughs> I think I I identify with Nolan. Snow. Do you have Do you have an answer? I said Senator Armstrong. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure. I'm sure there's. I'm sure there's probably a better one out there. That uh, man, I could. I would take suggestions from people. I don't know if I. Uh, I don't. Man, I don't. Nothing like jumps be, to mind like, for me. Like the dude from Infamous or something. I mean, if it's gonna somebody be somebody with a hood. Well, if we're thinking strictly video, like someone in chat said, Nick would be Dexter. Of course, I'd attempt to be Dexter. But like, we're thought we're talking video games here, people. Video games. I'm, I can't think. Look around the room a little bit. Uh, 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 I think you'd be a good link, Nick. <laughs> what? You seem like you'd be a link. What? Whatever. You know who I'd be? I'd be, um... I'd be, uh... Uh... I have the... Okay, I mean... You just keep, detect- keep signing me out. Detective okay. Gumshoe. All right. I mean, I'll, I'll read them. I don't, I just, I don't Wait, have detective the list. Gumshoe? You know... Maybe I'll read them this week. All right. I need my phone. No, I just take it, read it. No, I, I, was, I was asking for my phone. Eh. I don't fucking. All right, let's just, do whatever. Let's just week, fucking do it. Our next question this week comes from the metal button, who is our new subscriber or our new patron for the week. Sorry, yeah, yeah. sorry, sorry. Shut Crossing wires. Has there ever been a game that has done something interesting to keep you watching the credits roll? Uh, his example is Ocarina of Time, showing all the races celebrating the aftermath of af- aftermath of finishing the game. Super Smash Brothers Melee. The the end credit when you finish the adventure mode is like a Star Fox style. Oh yeah yeah like, yeah. Like yeah. shooter sequence the where bayonet- like all the credits are like the things you're shooting. The bayonetta credits. You get to see bayonetta dancing on a pole. Mm. For the entire time. Uh well towards the end. I mean you also get to do some combat and stuff. There was the one. The, remember Devil May Cry Four? You have to defend Kyrie as uh, yeah. the credits are rolling. Or, uh, I mean, I, honestly, the, I mean, the, the answer is, like, any game that has something besides just yeah. credits. You know, when when there's unique things going on, like when fucking, when they're showing the fucking pictures of all the devs' cats and dogs and whatever. Yeah. You know what, excuse me, whatever, just something. You, you know, know my, my favorite credits on. of all time is, one of my favorite credits of all, my favorite credits of all time is the god hand credits. But one of my favorite is Final Fantasy VIII that has, like, the little, like, handicap yeah. footage like sort of after the fact, they're, they're mm-hmm. all like kind of celebrating and hanging out. Yeah. Oh, do you remember the Warriors? Like there was yeah. a brawl that you could do during the credits during the Warriors that is actually the at like the end of the movie The Warriors, where it's all the where it's all the rogues getting the shit kicked out of them by uh, I think it's like the Panzers or something like mm-hmm. that. That was really cool because that was like that movie ends with like another gang showing up. To like beat up the bad guys, and then the credits of the game is you actually doing that. <laughs> like, you know, uh, this is a kind of a recent example, but uh, uh, Layers of Fear has a really cool credit sequence. Just it's not you're not really doing anything, but it's showing all the developers of the game who are being shown in the credits have their own like illustration of like, but like contorted and like fucked up shit. Like, but they're like it's they're, like you can tell the artist of the game went and took all these people and did. Cool, like really cool portraits of all of all developers. Because there's not that many developers. I mean, it's a, it's a smaller game, so they're yeah, able to just. Flower had really cool. Yeah, credits. yeah Flower had cool credits. I mean, journey. There's a lot of great examples out there. There's also a lot of really boring examples out well, like there. Like I said, like you know, when a game just has white white text scrolling on a background, that's never super exciting, and it's kind of always like the. Is something gonna happen? Do I press something to skip? Am I gonna miss something that happens at the end? And it's so much worse than movie credits because they're like they're long. It's like twenty minutes. Yeah, to they're, get through it's, everybody. It's, it's who not like a, it's not like a two. It's not like a five minute ordeal. It's like sometimes I think they're they're. I remember some games that have credits that are like forty minutes long. It's like like Ubisoft you sit there games. for yeah, like an Ubisoft game. It's like they do. I got it. Nick. They do like their whole accounting firm. Yeah, like one <laughs> studio. Credits. Like. The credits in Noby Noby Boy were amazing. Uh, all right, next question this week comes from Mick Lopa. Mick Lopa. What was the worst video game rage-induced moment you have ever had as a child or a young adult? 
What about one that happened last week? Right. Just kidding. Uh, that moment I realized that my friend accidentally deleted my Devil May Cry save when Ooh. I was like on the second to last mission in the game. That was pretty rage inducing. Mm. It took me everything. It took everything in me to like not strangle him to death on the spot. I don't really hold on to this kind of stuff, but I remember getting super pissed off at Mega Man back in the day, <laughs> like when I was a kid. Oh well, like wait. What am I talking about? Fucking. I, I think my. I think my Super Metroid meltdown is probably one of the worst <laughs> I've had. Yeah. But uh, I've seen worse from you, Nick. Really? I, I don't think the. Really? The, wait, yeah. wait. You've seen worse meltdowns from me. Anger. I don't think you were so angry at Metroid. You were just kind of fed up. Well, yeah. Maybe I didn't watch the Dude, whole I, thing. I played a Link to the Past in really, one sitting. It read like anger. Uh, yeah. You just seen him fighting. It also and... felt like anger. <laughs> use use the net. Uh, so that's that's tough. I mean, I I usually don't get that. I mean, so I, I get angry. I definitely get angry, but it's not like it's not. I wouldn't call it rage inducing. I just get really fucking frustrated, and then I'll just get up and walk away for a while. And so yeah. I don't think there's been any that have been like super super serious. I don't know. Maybe Bernadette would know better. I can't remember any as a child. I just remember one moment. When uh, I can't remember what game I was playing, but I had the the Logitech wireless controller for the PS2, which was hands down the best fucking controller. Yeah. The the Logitech one. Was a good one. You broke that one, didn't you? Yeah, I dropped it on accident. I wasn't rage inducing. Uh, oh. I just accidentally dropped it on tile and it broke, and I was so fucking mad that it broke. It, it's not that it, it just it's not that it just wouldn't I punched connect. a baby. It it w- it was constantly vibrating. Like it just wouldn't stop. Like at any time. Yeah, and I was so mad. I was like, why is it fucking vibrating, but it won't fucking connect to the PS2? And I was just like so furious because I loved that controller. Those things are kind of janky about connecting Oh my sometimes. god, yeah, dude. They, they did not have the best connection, but it was so much better than the DualShock 2. Like, it was light years better. It was wireless. Oh, it was wireless, and it was also... It, it, the, the shape of the controller was better. It was actually more similar to, like, a 360 controller. The shape of it. It's kind of similar to how the PS4 controller is. Now yeah, no, well. exactly. yeah, it actually is quite similar to the PS4 controller. But yeah, yeah I was really upset with that when that happened. Racing games will do that to me. Really? And like, like, like Burnout. Fucking rubber banding pisses me off. Yeah, rubber banding in games like Burnout really, really drive me crazy. Um, like Burnout Takedown, I remember being really angry in that game. Um, All right. Yeah. Moving on. Next question this week from Zerby. Verbal. I don't endorse that. <laughs> Verbal. Come on, I want to hear your best one. Verbal. 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 <laughs> Jesus Christ! Someone make that a rap. Zerbi rap. Verbal rap. God damn it! All right. Aside from the visuals, what is the most realistic moment in a video in video games you've ever had, and which game was it? Whether most it be a realistic sense of of, set, uh, of setting or doing mundane actions. Mm. It's kind of like, I don't know, draws you into the game. There's or... some really good realistic human moments in The Last of Us. That's all I was about to say. The, if if you go back and watch, I was really excited when The Last of Us came out and I broadcasted it. And the the very end of the intro to the game hit me really fucking hard. Yeah, no, that, like, there's a lot in The Last of Us. Both that, the main game, and the DLC. I'm sure you're thinking of, oh, yeah. of the water gun fight, potentially. I mean, like, all the DLC. What that all shop. ends up in, yeah. Um, also, for me, Red Dead Redemption had a lot of really... Um, just grounding, grounded moments and pacing, like th- well-paced moments that that were super well done. I think. I think uh, uh, Walking Dead had a lot of like when you have to make a decision. Oh yeah, like some of, like when some, was, like someone someone lives or dies kind of thing. Like when you have to when you're given those decisions, sometimes or like it's just like having to decide who gets food. Yeah. Well, like, th- not just the decision. Like like one of the things I I really liked about like the walking dead is when you see a dude that you kind of trust or like someone that you kind of trust just do something like really human mm-hmm. like like be a little too scared and not help you when you really needed them yeah and you're like yeah i, I get it yeah you know I what i mean why, like, yeah. like like that's not the kind of shit you saw in a lot of other games and and how that would kind of feed into future d- decisions you made about that character or the group and stuff mm-hmm. but at the same time like it's hard to hold that against people you know it's it's crazy i think i think a recent example would be firewatch some people in chat brought that up because firewatch touches on some really um it's just pretty human heavy heavy world kind of stuff things yeah and 
yeah, I think that like that game will make stop make you stop and think. It doesn't give you a lot of time to think. You have to kind of make decisions on the fly, which I'm, I'm sure is very intentional. But like, man, yeah, you have to make some tough decisions in that game, and a lot of them are very realistic kinds of decisions. Yeah. So. Not yeah, not the kind of material you're used to dealing. I don't know if this is what he was kind of going for as far as the question, but yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, Samin asks. What are y'all's approach, tips, and tricks to games that are considered overwhelming? Um, I guess it depends why it's overwhelming. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah I mean, yeah. Like, like, for me... Some d- games are overwhelming, but they're just poorly designed, so I just don't play them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and not, not to mention a feeling of being overwhelmed can come from, you know, a game being larger than you're used to playing, like, in terms of scope. Like, it's not linear, like, like you in, have many options Like, jumping into, like... Uh, like, when you start to really grasp how big the world and, like, Mad Max is or something, and, mm. like, suddenly you're like, holy shit, like... S- Stardew Valley at first seemed kind of overwhelming Oh, it's very me. overwhelming, Dark Souls yeah. has obviously been an mm-hmm. overwhelming experience mm-hmm. for when me. When people but, start telling you and different yeah, things you the, can do in chat. The only, yeah. the only advice ever, I would say is, is, is try not to listen to too many people, because exactly everyone's going to have say. their own opinion on what's important. And they're in, and, and the problem is those might clash, and so you might try and do multiple things. And so I mean, if you're if you're really like really hurting or really wanting some ideas, I mean, I would say like either just ask one person who you know has played a lot of the game and, and is comfortable with it, or you know just maybe find like a not like like a not want to say a guide online, but I mean there there are plenty of like tips and tricks and shit I would also videos say out there and the games that are tend to be overwhelming, which are very open in a lot of in a lot of cases. Um, I think it's important to remember that there's not, in most cases, there's no one right way to play a game. Mm -hmm. So don't sit there and like stretch yourself out because you, you feel like you're doing it wrong Mm -hmm. when I mean, the whole point of video games is that everybody's experience is going to be a little bit different. So got to keep that in mind. If it's, if you're being overwhelmed because it's like something super challenging, so many times I've been like super overwhelmed by like a boss or something and getting frustrated I put the controller down and I come back like an hour later, first try. Yeah, and like, that, happens, that usually you, happens. Sometimes yeah. you gotta. Sometimes you gotta recognize when you're getting too frustrated and take a break. Yeah. That's that's why we ended up splitting the pro, the mini project M into multiple because I was like I can't I can't keep going tonight or this is gonna get really bad. So, all right, next question from Timothy. What is one of the one video game trope you wish were possible in real life? Quick examples, punch out your drywall and find a perfectly edible chicken, gain a small amount of money for defeating a household pest in combat, you know, something like that. A quarter. Yeah. Kill a roach, get a quarter. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think that's something that, you know... I, I think have, respawning is the oh, <laughs> is well, yeah, kind that, of the that obvious would be one. Nice, yeah. uh, that would be great. Uh, yeah. Do-overs. I, I think something along the lines of... Uh, I, Flying. It, that's a mechanic. Uh, like, uh, you, you know, uh, clearing away some grass and getting money. Right. Like, finding change in, like, the grass. Right. Everyone would have really manicured lawns. What if lawns. you're, like, mowing the, like, mowing the lawn with, like, a, like a push lawn mower, but every time you cut the grass, like, coins are flying out and then, like, flying into the blades and you can... Big you know, Baz like, in chat says double jump. Uh, oh, that's a good one. Double jump would be a good one. Yeah. I always, like, I always appreciate when games kind of, like, put in some sort of animation to kind of explain the double jump. Mm-hmm. Like, about a, wall like in Devil May Cry, he jumps off some sort of rune yeah. after the first jump or whatever in the air. It's Do like, it like, I guess like that makes air sense. dashes and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that would be cool. Hmm. Uh, hmm. No consequences for murder? <laughs> That'd be a good one. Uh, wanted levels? Cheat codes? Okay. These, these are ones <laughs> now that we're you just want? saying everything big, that comes big to head mode. <laughs> yeah, big now, head mode. Big head mode. Insta, insta gym. <laughs> now we're just saying everything that comes to our mind. If you Next just, like, question. Somebody, Invisibility. Some nude mods. <laughs> nude mods. <laughs> uh, all right, from Arxidus. Which spin-offs have you enjoyed more than their main than the main series? Final what did, Tactics. What Secret did Agent they Clank. do so differently? Shut up. Have you even played that? No. Final <laughs> Fantasy Tactics. They did Actors. gameplay better than the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> and story in some cases. Um, spinoffs. Uh, I know some people like Metal Gear Rising a whole lot, but I don't know. Oh, here we better. go. Metal Gear Rising was good. Yeah. Halo 3 ODST. Mm, I like yeah. that more than is, all is, three of its predecessors. Is Smash a spinoff? <laughs> oh, well. It's a spinoff of a bunch of games. Um, um, hmm. Is... 
is uh, is Street Fighter. Oh yes, Mega, Mega, Mega Man, Man Battle Network. Oh yeah, that's, that's a, a really good spinoff. Street Fighter Two is kind of a spinoff of the original Street Fighter Fighting Street or whatever it was called. <laughs> Street Fighter. <laughs> Well, I don't think it was originally called Street Fighter or something. Uh, Streets I mean, of Rage. I, I would say a lot of the the Walking Dead, like uh, Borderlands, Walking okay. Dead game, was technically, I guess, Dude. a spinoff of Borderlands. I could think of one for Nick. He really likes what? Diddy Kong Racing. And I, don't yeah. th- I don't think this there man has played a Donkey Kong game in his life. Well, you're talking about no, Telltale. I've, <laughs> I've never... I'm, yeah, well, I mean, I played Donkey Kong Country Returns. Returns. Yeah. Dude, oh. like, I'm fucking... No, I'm sorry. I played Donkey Kong Country. My brain does not fucking work today. But you're right. Diddy Kong Racing is a game that I adore. It's better my, than Near is sort of a spinoff, but that's that's a little not genuine. Uh, spinoff of what? Uh, Drinking Guard. Metroid oh. Other M. Go fuck yourself. Joke. That's not even a spinoff. <laughs> I mean, the sad reality is that's just the mainline yeah. Metroid game. <laughs> that was, by the way, six years ago. But at least we're getting... All right, moving on. Force. Force. Moving on. Next question from Piosht. 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 Have voiceovers in a game ever ruined a game experience for you? Oh, God. Oh, Many Captain times. Simply the Night has some pretty terrible <laughs> Dude, um... Fuck you. Dude, what is uh, a bad... Uh, uh, <laughs> Nina Cooney Dude's... had some pretty fucking bad voice... Uh, the, uh, Where? What, what, what Dingle... What's Dingleberry's name? <laughs> Dropsy? What's his name? Do, <laughs> do, 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 doopy doopa... Uh, the, the racist guy. The, oh, Drippy? Drippy, drippy. yes. Yeah, I thought horrible. he was okay. That horrible accent... Oh my okay, god! Well, it was just you didn't like his voice. Not that he was—he wasn't delivering the lines poorly. You just didn't like his voice. Right. Voice I didn't acting. like the way he was delivering his lines. Yeah, the but voice. But like, when I think of bad voice acting, I think of like *Devil May Cry* one, where he's like, "Do it, Brad." It's bad writing. That's bad writing. Okay, bad. Okay, yeah. maybe this is just. I wanted There's to be the one to fill the dark soul like. with light. Yeah. I had the wor- I have the Dude, worst time distinguishing between Destiny, the Peter Dinkle lot. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. that's yeah. terrible. That wizard, yeah. it's from the moon. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I honestly like, I, th- it takes a lot for voice acting for me to be. Dude, no- in Nina Kuni, bad. I ended up like switching to like Japanese <laughs> because I hated fucking Dingleberry's voice. Fair enough. Mm, always, I mean, the there are games with bad always voice talking acting. about knickers. The the, <laughs> <laughs> the original. <laughs> Resident Evil. Um, oh, I heard, oh, yeah. That didn't ruin the no, experience, no, though. No, it didn't ruin the experience. But I'll just I'll just say this. And I'm not even talking about the voice acting of the character. I'm talking about the voice acting of that clock. I heard so much about that terrifying clock. Mm. Like, people trying to, like, tell me, about, you should play Resident Evil. It's this really ambient, like, atmospheric. You walk in, it's this really terrifying, it's like, uh... Like, grandfather clock, and I walk in, and I play, and I was like, what the fuck is this? Shitty voice acting kind of ruined Metal Gear Solid Five for me a little bit. But that was just mm-hmm. lack of voice acting. And bad voice yeah, acting. Yeah, there was some pretty bad voice acting in it. Yeah, some of it. At some points. Sure. Anyway, uh, Gonzo Lewd asks, who is stinkier, Manti or Hyde? Mm. Manti. Mm. Manti. Manti is definitely stinkier. That's why Hyde mm. loves sniffing his butt so much. How many more questions we got? Uh, two more. Uh, Michael asks, from the most recent game you have beaten, if you were told you could bring one item out of it in the real world from that game, what item would that be? I gotta think back to the last game. Oh, I, uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, while, uh, while they are thinking, I have a little addition. We changed Manti's food over to salmon mm-hmm. because, you know, we went to him the vet and we were trying to see if we could figure out his allergies. We thought maybe it was food allergies. He's been eating salmon food uh, as its primary. He smells like cat piss now. <laughs> Like he smells like cat piss, cause we looked it up. Malia was like, like, like Manji smells like a cat, and I smell him. Was like, no, this smells like cat piss. Like, she, she, she looked it up, and she's like, my dog smells like cat piss, and it was like because we changed his food. We can get Chris Davis to confirm. Chris Davis, walk over, smell Manti, and confirm that he smells like cat piss. Well, Chris Davis doesn't know what cat piss smells like anymore, cause he's like, oh, he's that's right, he's, yeah. he's like, <laughs> it's basically like a cologne for him. <laughs> oh he my god! Like cat piss. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. That was a joke, mean. Chris Davis. That was a, That's that mean. Was a joke. <laughs> That's mean. Don't, don't frowny face emoticon. Right. This this <laughs> question from joke. Michael about taking a, an item out of the last game you beat. Yes. I think the last game I beat was Far Cry Primal. <laughs> A spear. So, so like, yeah, I'll the, take a spear. Oh, thank you. The last game I beat was Firewatch. Wait, That's boring. The last game I beat was Super Metroid. Oh wait, you're right. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of good ones Wolf there. Ball. Dude, I think the last game I is, was the last game I beat Salt and Sanctuary or XCOM. I guess uh, Salt I, and beat, I, I beat Salt and Sanctuary after XCOM. 
<sighs> what would I take out of that? Giant scissors? Why do I take out of yeah. Firewatch? You can always use giant Firewatch scissors. Firewatch has nothing cool. An axe? Was that the last game? I A walkie-talkie? I think you nothing found cool in Firewatch. Pretty sure you found, I'm pretty sure you found ladies' undergarments somewhere in that game. Oh, no, I did. I definitely beat Firewatch right? Didn't you? more Remember recently. Remember when you were a kid and walkie-talkies were cool? Yeah. Walkie-talkies are still pretty cool. So take the walkie-talkie from Firewatch. No, I can buy that in a store. What about the helicopter? Damn it. What about yeah, the I'll, ray gun that you can find in the woods at the alien crash site? I'll take <laughs> the, I'll take the helicopter. All right, last All question. Right, final question tonight from Raphael. You just gained the invincibility power up from a video game for a few minutes. What would you do and what song, video game or other would play? Shadow Lord from Near. And Man, he's been thinking about this one. <laughs> Well, no, that's just the, my go-to. What? Shadow Lord from near, and I, I'll jump off, uh, jump off the highest building I can find because that's cool, and land like a badass. You know, like, the, like, like. They can't see that. A superhero landing. Yeah, superhero, superhero, superhero landing, superhero and landing. I'll make a crater Ooh, he's to like Shadow he's Lord. Do it. <laughs> I think I think I would do something similar, like try and try and do something that would probably kill me, like jump off something, you know, like jump into a pit of spikes or something, whatever. You know, maybe 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 fight. Like a wild animal, like a like, a, like a puma, uh, and then the song that would be playing would be a John Cena theme. <laughs> my my, uh, my song would be Juggernaut by Clutch. Look it up, and I would go find the mayor of Austin and kill him so I could be mayor. I don't think that's how that works. I don't think that's how it works. Are you, are you sure? Do you need to be invincible to murder sure, a man? I'm pretty sure the only way. You, yeah, <laughs> I'm not very strong. I'm pretty sure the only way that mayors are elected is by slaying their predecessors, right? Exactly. <laughs> Take the throne? Yes. Um, I would probably fight crime. That's For boring. a few minutes. Yeah, yeah, it's only last a few minutes. <laughs> you, could, you could do that you without... Found, you found one robbery and you're like halfway through stopping and you're like... Oh, yeah, you, well, you could do that without right. being invincible. I could. Oh, hippity boo. <laughs> all right, well, that's all the questions this week. Thank you, patrons, for your questions. If you are a patron, every week we post a post on the post wall uh, where we uh, ask for your questions for the podcast. Which we will answer again next week. Yep. All right. Uh, do we have... So we're going a little long. What are, we are, are we doing? going long. Are we doing... Maybe we should do one round. How are we going to do this? Can you, Chris Davis, can you give us one topic for, for Geek Out? We're gonna do a quick round of geek out. He Crispy says he's starts. ready. Crispy Chris starts. Davis is ready. I start. Yeah. All right. So no, Chris Davis is gonna feed us a category. And feed. People in chat, please feel Chris free so to attack your shit out. So is this how we're doing it? He's gonna give us a category. Games yeah. in which you control a boat. All right. Oh, I'm gonna shit. go with uh, Legend of Zelda: Wind Waker. Uh, Grand Theft Auto. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch, Nolan. Okay. Wait. It's my turn. Yeah. It's your uh, turn. I'm gonna go with. Uh, Final Fantasy 4. What if I was going to say Final Fantasy 15? Uh, wait. Do you have Are a boat boats? in Final oh, Fantasy yeah. 15? Yeah, there's totally a boat. You saw Nick, the trailer. Shut up! He's got Nick. a yacht or something. Shut up, Nick. Uh, okay. is, this, is this how we're going to... Oh, oh, The Witcher! Three. <laughs> uh, that was one of mine. And no, 2550. Uh, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Mm. Why didn't I think of that? Come Two on. Worlds 2. Oh God, I'm completely blanking again. Ah, this is so hard. Uh, don't you get a boat in Pokemon? Mix out. Mix no, out. you get Pokemon. You, like you yeah, swim. you ride on Shit. Pokemon. Yeah, you're out. Man. I'm out. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, I fuck. I just had it. Um, yeah, I fucked you up. Uh, Risen. Risen two. <laughs> Where you're <a> <laughs> Nobody here is playing. You that. don't control the boat. What? In Risen? In Risen 2, you don't control the boat. Yeah, you do. No, you, you don't. You tell it where you want to go, and then it goes there. Nope. You're out. The story controls the boat. Wait. You're like kind of controlling the Chris story. Chris Davis, we've we've handed over control to Chris Davis. He's gotta he's gotta make the call. Oh, is right, Chris be right. out or not? Come on, come on, Chris Davis. Wait, I, I so thought he wasn't supposed to be the judge. Just comment. Well, the I'm answer is Risen Two, where you don't actually control the boat. Risen it's Three, it's is... glorified fast travel. Risen Three is where you control the boat. Glorified fast travel. But you tell it where to go. Risen Two. He can't keep looking. He's giving Nolan so much time. Oh, no, this is uh, it's not helping. Crispy, you're out, <laughs> Nolan. No. 
He no, says, "All why? right, it's, it's down to Chris. Why? It's down to Nolan and Brad. Risen doesn't even have a boat. <laughs> Come on, boats, guys, boats. Um, I'm, I'm doing the countdown right now, starting from. I'm ready. Right five. Hold on, hold on. Um, oh man, I think this is too much time. <laughs> yeah. You're out. I'm going with Hydro Thunder Hurricane. Oh man, Brad wins. Oh, Brad, fuck. <laughs> that's hard. Do you think it should be easier? Yeah. You think it should be easier, but it's not. Dude, I'm trying to. Th- I was trying to think of so many fucking like some of those like ship simulator games where you're like. What's the? Oh thing? yeah, like Dude, uh, bro- like well, uh, fucking should, pirates. Yeah, I, I just pirates. can't remember oh, the fucking yeah. name of that turn-based one on Steam. Do you want to do one more round? Shipwrecked. Let's do one more round. One more round. One more round. One more round. Chris Give us Davis. one more category. Well, what did Chat Chris say? Davis. They think we're idiots. Yeah, oh, of course like, they think we're. Idiots. You're not sitting here, Chat. You don't know. They can Google so. It's much like it's funny. Than like this. they'll give. He'll say a category, and suddenly I can. I feel like I've only played five games in my entire life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you're like. You're like. <laughs> and one of them is Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> <laughs> it's Red Dead Redemption. Uh, Super Mario 64. Uh, uh, fuck. Hit, it's one of those two. Man. <laughs> Catherine. Bayonetta. Um, near. <laughs> Final Fantasy Tattoo. Hey, oh God, uh, I can't name a single text one. Text adventure computer text games. Text adventure computer games. Oh, there's. Uh, I'm starting this one. Why did you see it to start? I thought Chris be started, and then I yeah. don't know. Do Nolan starts. Go. Nolan starts. Oh, then I'm out. Zork. <laughs> Zork. I got Zork. Uh, uh, Zork is a game, yeah. Oh God! What is the name of your Chaos Blade? Return to Zork. That's a mud. Uh, that is not a text adventure. It's an MMO. RPG. Space Zork. I thought it was a multi-user dungeon. Well, yeah, but that's an MMORPG. <laughs> God damn it. So he's out. I'm out. And I went with Space Zork. So it's Brett. That there. doesn't count. Why doesn't that count? I'm going to go with Hitchhiker's Guy. What do you got now, bitch? <laughs> uh, Zork West. Fuck you. <laughs> I win again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and call it there. Yeah. We gotta wrap this podcast up. Thank you guys so much for listening. Of course, we'll be back next Tuesday night with another podcast. Uh, we'll be talking about <laughs> other things, other video games, probably more Dark Souls. Uh, what, what's coming out? I thought there was something coming out next week. Hitman. Uh, so Star two. Fox Zero. Oh shit! Star Fox Zero came out last week. We'll have a lot Comes of out tomorrow. We'll have a lot of new oh. stuff to talk about. Um, wait, are we doing a podcast next week? No. That's oh, how I was we kind of we had kind of we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll talk about this later. Keep your eye on the calendar because we're discussing whether or not having another podcast next week because this one was so late. Anyways, fourplayernetwork.com is the website if you want to check our broadcast calendar because we do broadcast games every single night over at fourpp.tv. You can find our our our, our schedule on fourplayernetwork.com slash calendar. Oh, if you were Dial's in- also coming to Street Fighter Five next week. If you are interested in supporting cool. us, you can also you can also find us on Patreon. Uh, at patreon.com slash four player. So we definitely appreciate all your support there. Um, and I think that's all we got for you this week, guys. We will see you. Well, we'll see you tomorrow on the feed. But yeah. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll be around. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I keep wanting to say we'll yeah. see you on the podcast next week, but we're not yeah, doing it. Night, guys. Bye. Game Have of fun. Thanks for oh, listening. Yeah, happening. I hope shit. your ears feel sexy.